Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso and this is S3 and it's a morning that we've all been waiting for. You've seen our brand new lounge. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. You've walked through it. You've felt it. you touched it. But of course, we have the unveiling of our brand new kitchen. And wow, I walked in this morning and I honestly thought like this is going to be a kitchen where I'm excited to cook in this kitchen. I will cook anything. I'll just stand in it and actually just talk to you. It's beautiful. So thank you to our partners, uh, of course, for getting behind this project. And we're going to take you behind the scenes to look at creating the kitchen and making sure that it's perfect for you and all the recipes you love that you can always find on expressoshow.com. Uh, we also have our first guest in our brand new kitchen. That's none other than the private chef and owner of Butter and Bacon, Courtney Anderton, who will be whipping up some incredible recipes in a brand new space. Of course, the recipes we have for you is a double cheeseburger, hello, a summer couscous salad, rrr, and then, of course, for dessert, we give you a beautiful pavlova. All of those will take you step by step to make sure you are ready to go. And then also entertaining us, because we've got all this food for the eyes and for the belly, but what about the ears? We've got you covered, because we've got singer and songwriter Renee Love Notes, who will be entertaining you uh, throughout the course of the show. So that's what we have for you for now. We also have two individuals, including me, Carl Wasty, and an amazing gentleman who's going to take you through what we need from you on social media. Ryle, good morning, my brother. Ah, uh, brother, it's a pleasure at your service, Mzanzi. Good morning. How are we doing? Middle of the week, but we're going to get you through it in no time. Trust me, the next three hours are going to be absolutely epic. And uh, first off, don't forget, we're always including you in the show. We're chatting to you this morning about change. You've heard about all the changes happening in the studio. And we know that change is good, right? But some things we like to hold on to. And the question this morning is, what's the oldest item in your kitchen? And how long have you had it for? I hope that item isn't like an actual food item. Item, right so I hope it's like a utensil or something I've got something very simple very chilled it's a knife that I've had since I was a kid um, you know when you're a kid you always like obsess about knives and had this serration on it and I thought this is gonna be the knife I've always had in my life and I always have had it since then so still holding on to it still uh, sharp as ever but uh, let's find out from you Mzanzi maybe you've got something crazy in the kitchen that's been lurking in that uh, back cupboard or drawer somewhere that we're dying to find out about it maybe you have a picture as well share with us use our social media channels of course but come through on our whatsapp line it's 063 408 8863 don't forget to use the hashtag espresso for now though before we get into that conversation official duties must commence Indeed there must. Thanks a lot, Ryle. And of course, please keep it coming with regard to the social media comments as I give you some very, very important news. So let's start nationally. Unaudited data from the Central Energy Fund shows that fuel prices may decrease in November after three consecutive fuel price increases. The Automobile Association, the AA, said both grades of petrol are expected to drop by some 1 Rand 90 and diesel by 70 cents per litre. Fuel prices have been on the rise since August with petrol currently retailing at over 25 rand a litre. However, the AA said fuel prices may be negatively affected by the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Now, Statistics SA says further cuts to its ever-decreasing budget will have a severe negative impact on delivering its mandate. The entity appeared before Parliament's Standing Committee on Public Accounts, known as SCOPA, to discuss its unauthorized expenditure of some 140 million rand dating back to 2015. SCOPA is busy conducting hearings into unauthorized expenditure for all government departments and entities. Stats SA says it stopped filling vacancies for the past five years due to budgetary constraints. On to international news now, Nigeria has burnt pangolin scales worth some $1.4 million in a stand against wildlife trafficking. It was the first time Nigeria had publicly destroyed seized wildlife products for this reason. The pangolin is arguably the world's most trafficked mammal. Its scales are in high demand in traditional Chinese medicine. Nigeria is a major transit hub for African pangolin scales, which are trafficked to Asia. These seized items represent the past we leave behind, but their destruction signifies the future we are determined to build for our planet, Environment Minister Iziak Adekunle said. Now on to Ukraine. Now Ukraine has used U.S. supplied long-range missiles for the first time. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said his comments follow reports that the weapons known as ATACMS destroyed nine helicopters at Russian bases in the east of the country. Ukraine said an air defense system was among the targets hit in Berdyansk and Luhansk. Uh, dozens of Russian troops were killed or wounded in the operation, it added. They have performed very accurately. ATACMS have proven themselves, Zelensky said in an address posted on social media. Russia's military hasn't commented. 
and the sweet sounds of the world's leading young opera singers will be heard in the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town at month's end. This is for the 30th Operalia, the World Opera Competition in the Mother City. This international competition presented by the world-famous tenor Placido Domingo uh, well, affords uh, young singers the opportunity to compete for prize money of some 4 million rand. And to catch the eye of opera agents, Domingo will be in Cape Town for the week-long event at the Artscape. Five singers from SA are participating with others from 14 countries, including the US, Britain, Italy, Israel, as well as Russia and South Korea. Uh, this competition assisted in establishing the careers of Priti Yende, as well as Levi Sechopane. So, of course, a big one to watch out for. That's where I leave your news for now. Another update in one hour. Let's take a look at the sport. Ryle, standing by. Oh, absolutely love that, Carl, but unfortunately we'll be able to sing the Proteus praises right now because the Proteus suffered a crushing 38-run loss to the Netherlands in their World Cup group clash at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamsala. Now, when a rain affected 43 of a match, the Netherlands recovered from 140 for 7 to set a target of 245 runs for 8 wickets. Now, the Proteus stumbled to 44 for 4 and eventually got dismissed for 207 runs. Now, this surprising outcome mirrored the Dutch's victory over the Proteas in their previous T20 World Cup, raising eyebrows. Now, South Africa's next challenge is against England on the Saturday, October the 21st, the same day the Springboks tackle England in the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup. Oh, a day of sport indeed. But carrying on and celebrating, uh, well, what we can say is definite national pride, Bafana Bafana put up a strong performance, securing a one-all draw against Ivory Coast at the international friendly at Stade Fili Hoyfoyer Boini in Abidjan. Now, Temba Zwane's goal gave South Africa an early lead, but Ivory Coast, who controlled possession and applied consistent offensive pressure, leveled the score with a goal from Sebastian Haller, and that was in the second half. Now, both teams will soon shift their focus to the 2026 World Cup qualifiers, with Ivory Coast facing the Seychelles at home and South Africa hosting Benin. In addition to this, the AFCON 2023 is scheduled for January 2024. Well, we move over to golfing action right now, and Ryder Cup luminaries Nikolai Hoegaard and Bob McIntyre are poised for more success at the upcoming Nedbank Golf Challenge, taking place from November the 9th up until the 12th. Now, fresh from their contributions to Luke Donald's triumphant European Tour team in Rome, the duo is ready to shine once again. Now, Hoegaard, uh, alongside his uh, twin brother Rasmus, is eager to make strides in the race to Dubai rankings, while McIntyre, with a consistent season featuring six top ten finishes, including a second place at the Genesis Scottish Open, is determined to secure his third DP World Tour win before the year's end. Well, some interesting news when it comes to motorsport up next. Now, sports stars Rory McIlroy, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Anthony Joshua and Juan Mata are joining an impressive 200 million euro investment into Formula One team Alpine Racing. Now, the initiative, led by investment firm Otto Capital, also includes Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhinney and Michael B. Jordan. Now, previously, this consortium acquired a 24% stake in Alpine in June. And currently, Alpine, backed by Renault, holds the sixth position in the F1 Constructors' Championship with five races remaining in the 2023 season. Well, that's all the sporting action we have for you right now. We'll do it all again in the next hour. But it's time to dive into weather. And Carlitos has the latest. Thanks, Andrea. Let's take a look at weather news uh, first. Now, the search for two learners in the Heleni area of the Eastern Cape continued yesterday. It's believed they were swept away by swollen rivers in two separate incidents while returning from school. Heavy rains, which pelted parts of the Eastern uh, Cape yesterday, affected three municipalities in the Oartambo region. Oartambo District Municipality spokesperson uh, Zimkita Mankingwane uh, said there was localized flooding in the Port Johns, Nyandeni, as well as King Sabata Dalanyebo uh, municipality. Municipalities and Matangwane uh, said a small number of people were housed overnight in Port St. John's a Community Hall and roads in the Coffee Bay area were affected. In a statement, the Oartambo District Municipality cautioned communities to be extra vigilant of the flooding, adding that their disaster and risk management teams would be on high alert to handle any incidents that are reported. Now, of course, let's take a look at some of the temperatures from across the country and you can find out which one is relevant to you.
Beautiful temperatures over there for you, so you know exactly what to wear in your field get breakfast show. Now, I do know that Ryle's been busy with a lot of influencer campaigns. So for this particular competition this morning for Sunrise Views, I'm going to use 100 Rand of Ryle's money to celebrate you today and say thank you so much for your Sunrise Views. How's that? Enough influencer campaigns. If you take your top off enough, you get enough money. It makes sense. So do remember to include a short story along with your picture, a weather report, maybe a little voice note as well. And just make sure you send that over to 063-408-8863. And we have a winner for this hour. Leanne from Johannesburg sent in something special, this one. And the caption read, uh, there is chilly air with a soft breeze and slight cloud cover in the sky as I head to work. Leanne, you are getting 100 rand of Ryle's influencer money. It's as simple as that. More of those to come. Just keep on sending. We'd love to see a beautiful sunrise from your area as well as perhaps your voice or a little caption and you could be a winner on your Feel Good Breakfast show. But we're not going to stop there. More action to come. Yeah, we're just dishing it out all day, all morning. We got you, Mzanzi. <laughs> I don't know about that influence of money, but we'll make a plan. Don't worry, the money is definitely coming your way. So thank you for sending that through. We'll do it all again in an hour. For now, though, it's time to talk about the news that you maybe missed while you were asleep and the importance of wearing a seatbelt. Oh, I hope you haven't forgotten. We'll see you straight after this. It's my feel good breakfast show. Yes, Mzanzi, welcome back. Your feel good breakfast show. Middle of the week, and a lot of you are already sleeping. And uh, don't worry, we got you covered because there's a lot of news that might have happened while you were. And that's why we're bringing it straight to the front line to serve you. And Carlitos has our first story, which is something yeah. that has been causing some mixed emotions of late. I don't know what your opinion is this, but uh, listen up. This is quite an interesting one. Well, the thing is, uh, first and foremost, we didn't sleep last night, so you can get these stories. Okay? <laughs> yes. So please appreciate them. Now, now super fan, Mama Joy is flying South Africa's flag mm -hmm. high at the Rugby World Cup. Uh, she first shot to fame with the Orlando Pirates FC before being poached by the Peter Maritzburg Outfit Royal AM FC. High demand for this woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she is now a super sports fan, seen at rugby, Cricket, netball matches with a trademark face painting, is a polo hat as well as a colorful SA flag colors. She is a super sports fan. And this is Mama Joy Chalky. And I can tell you, Mama Joy has been at so many events that I've been to as well. Just part and parcel of the energy as well. If you see Mama Joy, naturally, she embodies the spirit of any hears around South African yeah. sport. I'm telling you, you meet her and you're like, Whoo! 
<laughs> that's, that's, I, I love that about it, so, that so it's real. I'd love to hear your opinion on that because, I mean, a lot of the controversy online yeah. is the fact that taxpayers' money yes. is going into supporting Mama Joy's yes. endeavours. And the question is, is it worth it or not? Is it worth spending all this cash when you only see her for a few seconds on yeah. the screen? But I'm sure you have a different opinion on this, right? Uh, my opinion is that, you know, with it going to taxpayers' money, etc., you know, we, we struggle to send a lot of sports teams over yeah. to certain places. And I think that if Mama Joy is maybe the pivot of South African support sport, as in, as a supporter, she's a professional supporter. Ah. She's synonymous with mm. us being there. When you see Mama yeah. Joy on the screen, you have an, an instant patriotism. You have an instant connection that, yeah. oh my word, one of us is over there. Um, so if you well, are feeling, deep, if you if you feel a bit of pain for that, then you know I, I you're entitled to that opinion. But I honestly think that Mama Joy has a great connection steeped in South African yeah. pride, and I think when you see her supporting something, immediately you're like, oh my word. I'm connected. I am part of this particular celebration because she is there representing us. So and, uh, I get it. But I mean, let's be honest. Uh, our taxpayers' money is wasted on so many different things. This is not a waste. This is national pride. Yeah, this is national pride. When you say it like that, man, I think it's enough for all of us to get behind and celebrate. So have my tax money all day. <laughs> now, next up, while you were sleeping, and maybe you missed this one, Amazon is coming to South Africa next year in 2024. And obviously, COVID has resulted in South African shop habits moving enormously oh, yes. online and it's been an open secret for a while but global online retail and tech giant Amazon yesterday finally and officially confirmed that it will be launching Amazon.co.za oh yes and that is in South African markets happening next year now the move is likely to shake up the local market as consumers stand to benefit oh yes from a much wider choice and hopefully better prices now, clearly Amazon's competition is worried judging by the fact that share prices of all major retailers yeah. listed on the JCE were down by midday yesterday already. So yeah. this news is exciting, I think, the consumer, because this means competition, this means eliminate the monopoly, and this is what I think we are all here for, especially considering inflation yeah. and the rise of the cost of living right now. I'm here for this car. I don't know about you. Yeah. It's something that I think a lot of online shoppers are going to be... Uh, Possibly questioning, can we trust this new Amazon? We've got certain services that already existed right now, but can we get behind Amazon.co.za? I think, Mzanzi, you might be saying yes to this one. I don't know what you think, Carl. Consumer innovation. I think that mm. consumers always need to be looked after, but I look at the innovation around other, you know, platforms based in South Africa, and I think it's important for us to um, pivot and, and look at all of our creativity yeah, that we have over here. Too, uh, yes, there's going to be a massive job creation, but at the same time, I'm very excited about how the other retailers are going to innovate to keep us interested. That's where the consumer benefits. Ah, That's what I'm going to look it. at now. On, wait. <laughs> now, we've got another story for you. Of course, Michael Caine has announced his Aww. retirement from acting bleak as it sounds. The man has absolutely served as a veteran British actor. Sir Michael Caine, a Hollywood icon with a career spanning more than seven decades, littered with awards and acclaims and has revealed that he's retired from acting at the age of 90, proving that age is just a number. Now this, as the Oscar winner bows out following another widely praised performance in his final film, The Great Escaper. It was released last week and in it he plays a real-life World War II British veteran, Bernie Jordan, who escaped from an elderly residential care home to attend 2014 D-Day celebrations in France. I know a lot of us are going to want to get our final taste of this absolute legend and icon. And I mean, honestly, he's just a prolific actor. Carl, I know you've seen so many movies with him. Any favorites uh, that stand out that you can even think of? right now. Uh, I know this Dark Knight series. I know. Oh, I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> Come on now. It. Everybody wanted to. a Michael Caine like Batman had in that oh, season, Michael of course. Kane. Brother, listen, you've got oh. another conversation I to do. get to that is I oh do. so important. While I carry on chatting to you, Mzanzi, maybe, I don't know, maybe or maybe not, you've got some news that you'd like to share with us that we didn't get while we were sleeping. Of course, Carl's tucking into the latest conversation while we round up the rest of the news while you were sleeping. I hope you enjoyed that, Mzanzi. Always here to serve and getting you through this Wednesday. <laughs> Excuse me for getting up so quickly. I had something very, very important to attend to because, you know what, it's Transport Month and it's observed in October to increase awareness among South Africans on road safety and road accidents are the single biggest killer uh, of healthy children in South Africa with traumatic brain injury. Now, we do have a very special guest, Associate Professor Ursha Rolvink uh, from the Division of Neurosurgery and Neuroscience Institute, UCT and the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital, as well as a, a fantastic uh, senior scientist from the African Brain Child. Uh, joining us to unpack the stats and to discuss a new awareness campaign called Be Quick to Click. Let us click 
with you, Ursula. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's Paul. lovely, lovely to chat to you, and it's such an important cause as well because mm. you know you can say it over and over again. You know, a seatbelt does seem oh, it's uncomfortable. You know, how do we make seatbelts cool again for those kids and also educate the entire family unit as well, which is fantastic. So, just yeah. looking at this particular campaign, if I think about how important it is in South Africa, mm. some of the stats will shock you. Right? Yes, they will. I mean, just anecdotally, you know, the stats that come to mind that we need to know is just sort of um, layman, just looking at this particular, um, I'm going to call it a pandemic of a yes. lack of seatbelts. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. um, for us uh, in the pediatric neurosurgery unit at Red Cross, yeah. so Red Cross sees about 2,000 admissions a year for a suspected head injury, and of those, 40 to 50 of those children have a severe head injury and land up in our ICU. Oh, dear. And we work very hard to yeah. save those lives and give those children a fighting chance for a, for a fulfilling future. But what we realized is that of those children um, that come to us with a severe head injury because they were a passenger in a motor vehicle accident, yeah. only four out of 100 children was wearing a seatbelt. So 96% of those children are not wearing seatbelts. And this, these are massive numbers of preventable deaths. Prevention is key in this regard. Um, what is the cause? What is the reason? Do you think it's the lack of education? Is it the rush of South African socio-economic lifestyle? What is going on? You know, I, I think it's important to research that as a, as a start absolutely, point. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, within our group in the African Brainchild, we're doing quite a lot of research to answer those questions. Okay. You know, what are the drivers um, of severe head injuries in yes. children relating to road traffic accidents? Where are these accidents happening? Are they happening in public transport? Are they happening on the way to school? Um, are children wearing seatbelts? Are they not wearing seatbelts? Yeah. We're trying to unpack what, the, what the, the, the causes really are. But the major issue is definitely seatbelts. And we know from data that's been published um, by a number of researchers, including the WHO, that Wearing a seatbelt reduces the chance of a fatal injury for passengers in the front of a car by about 40 to 50 percent, and reduces that chance in passengers at the back of the car by about 25 percent. And we know that seatbelts or proper restraints in children reduce their chance of dying in a motor vehicle accident by 60 percent. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, that's definitely a good motivator yes. to actually get this done. But now let's talk about the campaign, Be Quick yes. to Click. Yes. It's got a good catchy thing uh, yes. to it as well. Also, I, I picture this being quite versatile in South African culture. You know, we have so many beautiful languages. Yes. We have so many different clicks. Exactly. You know, so can you imagine having a kid in the car, right, yeah. and saying, right, we're going to learn a word today, like, you know, abecha. Yeah. And as you click in your seatbelt, say it. Yes. How beautiful would that be yes. to actually build it as a an educator, but also something that should be, you know, second nature to all the parents and kids. Absolutely. So that's one of the reasons we chose this, the the slogan. We yes. felt that it, it had that sort of universality yeah. across um, our our population, uh, and it's and it hopefully will become a something which children remember that that parents can educate their children to be quick to click, put that seatbelt on. Um, and, and be safe in motor vehicles. Yeah. And so as part of this campaign, um, you know, we, uh, because we see so many of these children and we see the most severe forms of injury in these children, we really wanted to add our voice yes. to creating awareness around the fact that these are preventable deaths um, and all it takes is actually wearing a seatbelt. So uh, there are many fantastic uh, organizations out there doing education, training and work. We're partnering with some, partnering with some of those organizations like Child Safe, which is yeah. affiliated with Red Cross as well, Wheel Well, which does a great job in actually collecting car seats that can be donated. Oh, lovely. So there's, there's a lot of, of amazing work going out there and we wanted to add our voice to that as the group that really sees these children um, in, in the worst um, situation. I wish we had an hour to, to completely chat about this, but if there's any resources we can go to to yes. find out more about the campaign, as well as the African uh, Brainchild Initiative, can you yes. just remind us to where to go? Yes, absolutely. So um, uh, we have our own website, um, theafricanbrainchild.com. Lovely. Uh, and then we have a microsite attached to that for the Quick to Click campaign. And on that website, we've got links to Child Safe, Wheel Well, um, and a couple of other key resources. Those, yeah. um, those foundations have great educational resources on their websites for for parents and society in general. Ursula, thank you so much for bringing this uh, campaign to light. I mean, this conversation already, I can picture so many parents who are hopping the cars, taking the kids to school. This is top of mind now. And I think I, that's I part of it. I hope so. If, if we could achieve that, then we've done our job. Um, so we can really just encourage people, 
be quick to click. There we go. Let's be quick to click. I'm loving that. And hopefully it'll inspire you as well to do that this morning. And uh, do remember, I've got a quote for you. I'm always full of quotes, especially in a morning like this. So, you know, in the words of Professor Anthony Figaji, uh, who heads the Pediatric Neurosurgery Unit at the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital and the Africa Brain Child uh, Initiative, there is an African saying that it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes one to protect it. We need to rally personal responsibility around seatbelt usage. Don't forget, be quick to click. What a great conversation and what a great feeling it is when you know what you get to look forward to on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, in the entertainment news, there's something to look forward to, of course. There is a lot happening with Jada Pinkett Smith when it comes to Revelation, and Will Smith has some comments on that. But speaking of entertainment, Renee Nell in the building, of course. She's here to perform, entertain, slay away, and share an incredible journey of what has been an escalation of note. All that and a whole lot more on your Feel Good Breakfast show just after this. It's my feel good breakfast show. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Espresso, and it's time for entertainment news from around the world with Ryle and me, Carl Wastey. Let's go for it, shall we? Because I think yeah. the one thing that has been all over your timeline, and you can tell, is that you may have seen Jada Pinkett Smith all over the timeline, especially all with this over. thing about Will Smith, you know? All so over. let's just say, Will has been quite quiet for days after Jada revealed that they've been separated since 2016. Still a shocker uh, to me, just yeah, by the way. Indeed, yeah. we all feel played. Let's be honest, right? Even Chris Rock's cheek feels played. <laughs> anyway, on Sunday, Smith actually posted a video video of himself sleeping on a boat at sea while you know sort of pinging sounds and notifications are heard in the background and a voiceover said fun fact about me I could take a nap almost anywhere and Wills was seen getting up and shaking his head while looking into the camera he captured the video notifications off and Will was seemingly referencing all of the talk about his marriage as you know it goes so in response to Will's post Jada sent two laughing emojis because they're all fun let's in fact see how chill this dude was <laughs> Fun fact about me, I can take a nap almost anywhere. Mm, okay, 
Okay. Yes. I see what you're doing there, bro. I see. But listen, man, there's so much controversy happening with this oh, right yeah. now. Initially, we all had like empathy and we're feeling for this relationship. But of late, I don't know how I'm feeling, man. A, a little bit played, maybe, just a bit. Listen, Jada recently obviously got emotional. She was appearing on the show On Purpose with Jay Shetty, and mm -hmm. that was to promote her memoir, Worthy. Now, Jay read a letter from Will to Jada, and Will wrote the following. He said, I just turned the final page of Worthy. It is an amazing, it's amazing to realize that despite having lived most of my life by your side, I still found myself shocked and stunned and caught off guard. Laughing, then inspired, then heartbroken. I was all over the place, and it's one thing to hear anecdotes at a family barbecue, but it was truly overwhelming to take in your story, potently condensed in this way. Now he goes on to say that you are one of, uh, one of one, a rare blend of power and delicate sensitivity. And I know it wasn't easy to, it wasn't easy to excavate the depths in that way. I applaud and honor you. Now Will went on to say if I had read this book 30 years ago, I definitely would have hugged you more. And I'm gonna start now. Welcome to the Authors Club. I love you endlessly. Now go get some Merlot and take a rest, which I think is actually a little bit of an inside joke or punch it because is. apparently she did mention that she can't have any Merlot, uh, but apparently that's obviously the vibe that these two have and it's probably why she can't divorce the Joker. But uh, yeah. yeah, clearly there's a lot going on. I really feel like these are actually just two smart individuals playing the game like we can't imagine and really reaping the rewards. I mean, this is all now for me, it seems like a marketing stunt all for this new memoir of hers. So I don't know, man, Carl, I'm feeling a bit hurt here, bro. Hey? I am feeling, you know what, that's, <laughs> I'm actually, you know, I'm worried about, I want to check on, on Chris Rockman. I want to WhatsApp him. Yeah. Just to find out if he's okay, because, well, you know, keep my name, you know, my wife's name out of your mouth. Uh, just like I, that whole thing, I think that was a very, very intense moment. It was. Even though I think like Jada in a couple of interviews kind of separated herself from it, saying, oh, you know, it was quite impulsive and I just was sitting there and that's the thing that happened. Um, I think, you know, at the base of it, anything that's sort of personal like that and, and relationship wise, I think we always consume it as fodder as the public. Yeah. Uh, which is why I prefer privacy. I, you know, if you have stuff in relationships, try and keep it as private as possible. Otherwise, there are blowouts of this particular and sort. The entertainment world and just takes you, it apart. You don't want yeah. the, your clout in the industry to be oh, pivoted yeah. on your, you know, relationship, you know, turmoil. I think that's, for me, that's a bit of um, a, a lack of sort of, uh, I'm going to say, conviction and integrity with regard to that. Yeah, I just yeah. want you to live a beautiful, happy life. If there are problems in your relationship, bless you. But what I'm following you for is your movies and your music. Yeah. I'm going to continue following you for that I don't need to hear anything else all the drama all the smoke and mirrors but uh, no smoke and mirrors this weekend of course there was nothing but heart racing adrenaline packed suspense right obviously it's been three days since the yep. Springboks beat France in a nail-biting jaw-clenching quarterfinal showdown in Paris on Sunday and we are all still feeling the fierce I know I definitely am but oh, South yeah. Africa has so many ways of showing what we can and how we can accomplish so many incredible things together and just by looking at this weekend we had so many celebs also jumping on the bandwagon and some of them even traveled all the way back yeah. from uh, well all the way to the actual uh, yes, game itself exactly in France, I got no invite <laughs> you got no invite I didn't crack a knot either bro yeah. It's but yeah, fine. Sim, Sim is up to, you know, Sim is like the general of the supporters club. <laughs> yeah. Him and Mama Joy, you same Mama, WhatsApp yeah, group. Man. Look at that guy. <laughs> I love him so much. And I mean, this is the, the energy and power that that Siv has in terms yeah, of Yeah, he actually that, quoted right? and said this was one of the best moments of his entire life. And judging from that picture, you can definitely see why. Another one on that list was Tando Tabete, the actress and radio personality who's been sharing her experience with four million of her followers and some. Wow. And wavering the SA flag proudly and rocking an SA flag face tattoo on top oh, of it all. Great. Look at that, the gears. And I know that we were outnumbered at the stadium. Apparently there was only like 20,000 or less, 15,000 South Africans. But you, you and I didn't get invited, that's why. This is why. This is that's why. why. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, you need to go and do us a big favor. Build the gears with our artist. Oh, that's going to be easy, can you do man. A quick intro? She is like, a stunner. I got you. I'll Thank get you, you. covered. I just want to also just chat to you about Jason Goliath, who's also there, by the way. Also cracked the nod, um, except he did it in a different way because he took the socials to ask uh, corporates to get him some tickets. Maybe Raul and I should have done that. It was like 20 euro to the Rand. He said he'll dial out what he must to make it to the game. And you know what? He dialed out and he was at the game. It was fantastic. So this is the type of energy we appreciate in your Feel Good Breakfast show. Um, just a little quick note from our side. If you have any tickets to the semi-final and you want to send Ryle and I to France, we'll be very happy to do so. Um, so just, you know, obviously inquire within. But that's it for our entertainment news desk. It is time for not news, but just general entertainment from some vocals from the locals. And that's why I sent Ryle away to introduce this amazing songstress.
Oh, yes, I cannot wait for this moment. It has arrived finally. Why I'm so excited because I already heard some of the sound checking. And, oh, it is absolute magic. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Rene Love Notes to the Expresso stage this morning. Put your hands together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, lady? I'm doing good. Oh. I am so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Now, listen, she is a singer, songwriter. She debuted her music career in 2021 and has absolutely gained reputation in the field of performance. And I'm telling you, she has done the absolute most. Now, listen, you've just come from an incredible contract, right? You've been performing overseas. You're already international. And this only kind of started like 2021. So it feels like you're on the cusp of something incredible. And listening to your voice, it definitely is, uh, is up there. But what was that experience? like for you traveling the world sharing your incredible talents you've been blessed with and getting that international experience so I actually started traveling from 2012 oh wow okay so yeah. my first contract was in Dubai I actually did my first contract with Eddie strings what? and that like was family right now. <laughs> yes it is okay. so that was my first contract in Dubai and then I traveled to Indonesia Malaysia Vietnam China for three years wow. and I just got back say about three months ago from Dubai it's been absolutely amazing working with different artists from different countries definitely expand my experience yeah. I came from church I started writing music when I was in church and when I traveled working with different musicians I started learning about the difference between singing and performance mm. and now I appreciate being a performer you know just telling a story instead of just singing and yeah it's just been crazy amazing it's and, been uh, absolutely amazing that's the difference i mean it, it shows the ability you have to come up here at five in the morning or earlier try sing in front of <laughs> how many cameras big lights that's the difference between singing and performing and it seems like you've crossed that threshold and gone beyond let's talk about this name rene love rene now love notes what, yes. what is that all about what does that mean so i love music i've been doing music from a very young age yeah. and i thought about it you know when you are into mu music you think what is what is my stage name going to be what is my brand going to be like and thinking about it it was just easy for me you love music love notes so a drink then I went with Catch it. made in heaven <laughs> <laughs> now more importantly you've got your first performance coming up talk to me about the song and the meaning behind this okay so just a phase was the first song that I wrote I was part of a gospel group uh, I think 2000 and I'm not entirely sure, but around 2019. Oh, wow, it's and been a journey. I wrote that song uh, while my dad got sick and he passed away eventually, and then I decided to release it. So uh, the song speaks for itself. Everything that we do is just the phase that we're going through. Nothing lasts forever, and that's. You know, just to be simple about it, that's exactly Love what that. it is. And we keep moving and we keep celebrating while we're at it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is Rene Love Notes with a song titled Just a Face. Enjoy. It's just a face that you're going through. Firstly, you go under. God made you much stronger. It's through the storms that's where he moves. Cry out to your father and your life no longer won't be the same. No, it won't be the same. Just cry out to your father and your life no longer won't be the same. No, it won't be the same. Cry out to your father and your life no longer. If you from the inside, no more tears to hide. Feel like going under, nothing never seems alright. Could it be that you're the one that's dying from the inside? Sitting in that corner, crying mostly at night, all alone. No one's home, have no strength to carry, have no strength to carry on. Oh, 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 oh. well, you choose what you lose. Yeah, the future that he has for you, it's just a season.
That is talent right there. Please sign me up. If you're having a concert soon, I want to buy five tickets, please. But that's all for myself. Amazing. Renee Love Notes, of course, will be entertaining you. Uh, that song is called Just a Phase. We went through a phase of our own renewing our kitchen on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And we are going to give you that reveal in the next couple of minutes. Plus, a discussion on today's financial dilemma. Five million rand now or 50 million rand later? And you'll get to answer that in the next couple of minutes. So make sure you stick with us. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my feel good show. Oh, yes, Mzadzi, welcome to it. Look at this. Oh, a new kitchen. <laughs> now, when you improve your home, you elevate your level of comfort. And let me tell you, I'm feeling absolutely good right now and very comfortable. Now, we've had the pleasure of celebrating the incredible contribution of CTM and Easy Life Kitchens in your homes. And now we are helping you take your home design and build to the next level. And clearly, that's where we reside right now. So you're to discuss the latest offerings and the part in our incredible new design of our studio. It's Monique de Costa Killian, the National Training Manager for Easy Life Kitchens and CTM Visual Merchandiser, Candice Hilbury. Ladies, oh, thank you so much for being <laughs> a part of this incredible, this, this is so exciting, this reveal, it feels so good. Firstly, how are you both doing? Good. <laughs> Listen, I want to talk straight about the fact that there are so many new like features in the kitchen. What are the key features that we need in our kitchen that kind of like complements our home in its entirety too? Maybe you have an answer to this. Um, so it was actually quite a difficult question when I kind of um, yeah. heard it. But there's so much to talk about. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And every home has so many different features mm. that will highlight the space that you're in. Mm. For this particular kitchen, um, there are arches in other areas of the, yeah. the set. And so that is where it pulled through in here to kind of make the whole house feel cohesive. Um, and that's what we do at Easy Life Kitchens. Our consultants come to your house, they have a look at what's actually there, the architecture, your decor, um, your color palette. And then they come up with a design using our 3D design program and then really wow our customers with what we can do. So, yeah. That's and I love that. And, and, and I didn't actually even pay attention to that, but the arch really does have a sort of connection to it where the studio, although it is a working studio, this feels like a home. It feels like, I, I forget that I'm actually working here, to be very <laughs> honest with you. Thanks so much, Marie. Candice, obviously, Coming from the perspective of tiles, tiles can really elevate, they can contribute to a look, they can bring things to a new perspective. How are you able to contribute? How are you able to use, let's say, tiles to contribute to that look and also to provide the customer with that sort of longevity and quality that I know CTM ticks the box massively? So tiles aren't just about looks, it's about the durability, the practicality mm. and the quality that turns a house into a home. And choosing the right tiles is so important because it's an investment yeah. um, in the overall look and feel and the functionality of your living space. With kitchens specifically, 
there's spills and splatters and that's inevitable. So towels are the more practical choice because it's easy to clean, easy to maintain, and it will save you so many headaches it is, from yeah. constant upkeep. Uh, so we're yeah. talking functionality merged with beauty in such an incredible way. So thank you for coming through. I guess that box has definitely been ticked here. Monique, firstly, we've spoken about the sort of features we have in this kitchen, but what are some of the top trends that we currently are experiencing now when it comes to kitchens in general, and how maybe the viewer can possibly incorporate that? Okay, so, well, earlier this year, I did a trends forecast, and curves were kind of the top trend curves. on my list. Yes. <laughs> um, and on the island here, we've got curves on both sides, mm. and it's extremely unique. Um, it was definitely something I saw coming in at the end of last year, um, and it was a perfect space to use, especially because we wanted to kind of complement the arches that we've used here yeah. and throughout the stand. Um, and so I guess that would be our top trend, and it's definitely standing out here. Definitely is standing out, and it's so strange to me because we come from this, like, sort of, I wouldn't say modern minimalist, but it was always about those, like, sharp angles and aggressive lines. The smoothness in angles sort of almost provides that comfort, which I really am experiencing right now. And then on top of it, I don't know if we can talk about this too much, but I feel so comforted by the sense of light in a kitchen. It's not something we always are using, but it adds that sort of warmth factor. It really does go the distance. I love that. Candice, <coughs> towels in general are, like we discussed now, something that can do so much for us. What are some of the trends you're noticing when it comes to towels, and especially noticing that a lot of consumers are purchasing online. Are there any opportunities online where you don't physically see the product, but you can still benefit and still make the good choice? Yeah, so the trends that you'll find at CTM at the moment is biophilia, so that's like botanical prints, oh, bringing yes, a please. touch of nature into your home, um, extravagant large format marbles um, imported from India, beautiful stuff. Um, we've also got an offering of black and white. Black and white will always be a trend, but we're doing something different now with geometric prints, um, just giving it that modern twist to it. Um, and you can find all of these looks on our current promotion um, at CTM at really affordable prices. Then when it comes to online shopping, we have an amazing experience where you can view a tile in 3D. You can view it in different lighting. Oh, you can nice. actually take a picture of the space that you'd like to tile upload it and then see what it's going to look like before oh, wow. you do your purchase. And if that doesn't convince you enough, we've also got a great team that will assist you every step of the way. All right, we'll say no more. You're making this really <laughs> easy. And after seeing this kitchen, I'm definitely due for some inspiration on my side too. So you'll definitely be seeing me soon. But I mean, just to dive in more into this and, and before we even do, can I actually take a moment to, you know what, let, let's officially take a moment, Mzanti, to just put our hands together and say thank you to these ladies and officially welcome in the new Espresso <laughs> Studio. It has met the bar. It is really something to be proud of. Maybe while we walk around here, just to dive into more of the detail here, what was some of the inspiration behind choosing the colors, choosing the sort of like combination? I know you spoke strongly about the arches, but maybe we could walk around and maybe discuss more. Is there anything else we could highlight here? Well, this is a fully functional kitchen compared to the kitchen that we had in here previously. Yeah. So every cupboard opens and closes. There's top quality hinges with soft closing. Bloom products, um, we oh, have yeah. capillary inserts, Effortless. spice pullouts, bins, all of the items that you would have in an everyday kitchen. So it, it, that, you know, that made it very different. Mm. And then when you speak about the colors, um, I think the, the biggest thing and the starting point for us, we had different colors in mind, but the navy tile, the matte navy tile that we've used around the island was our starting point. We absolutely loved it. Um, and then that was the ripple effect for when we chose the wall tile, which is also beautiful and it works so well with the navy tile. Then we went into our decked on countertops with cream becoming more of a trend again. Um, it just works so well with the navies and the blues. And then lastly was this overall um, Plascon color called Tidal Wave. That, Tidal Wave? Yes, okay. that just complemented everything um, all together. I, I, I honestly, I'm like, I've never been more excited for like design, for decor, for interior. <laughs> You're bringing some of the most essential elements that we as human beings, I think, thrive off on and bringing it into our home and into our sanctuary. You talk about the elements of nature. You're talking about the colors being inspired by the ocean. This is what it's about. Candice, maybe you can share more with regards to towels. The choice of towel, especially in this incredible island, I know it's a little bit bigger than a normal home. Well, nowadays you get homes with yeah. uh, kitchens of this size, but it's a difficult choice. I feel like choosing a color, right? Because it's a bold option and it really locks you into a lot. But what were some of those features that for you have really stood out and maybe went above and beyond what you even envisioned before placing it in here? Yeah, so for this set, oh, 
tell it, um, let me tell you, the project was so exciting. Okay. And we are so happy with how it turned out. Yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, but for the set, we wanted to focus on the hardware, but also to be on trend. Mm. Um, so we've chosen this beautiful, it's called Shadow Blue Honeycomb Mosaic, and it's got both matte and shiny accents in it. So it almost looks like mermaid scales, and oh. it has like a braille like <laughs> I effect. love that. It's really pretty. And then we thought it would complement the style, which we absolutely fell in love with. So the it's called Venetian Blue Brick Mosaic, and we've decided to um, tile it downward just to elevate it and make it more modern and super on trend. And was it, the, did the lead and the cue come from the tiles chosen on the island yes. first? And that kind of lended yes. to the rest of the... It was a contrast and it complemented each other. So that was, uh, that was the winner. We couldn't take our eyes off. That one. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to throw words around like genius, <laughs> master, absolutely slay the guys. Well done again. Thank you so much for bringing this kitchen to life in a new way that I don't think any of us could have imagined. And I know that's compliments to both of you. So thank you for the hand that you played in this. And Mzanzi, I mean, honestly, how exciting is that? CTM are also going to be giving viewers a chance to win. Listen to this, 10,000 Rand in CTM vouchers. So you can maybe replicate something just like this in your home. So how do you enter? The competition is quite simple. Go to ctm.co.za. Then you want to click the Tile Visualizer tab. Insert a picture of the room or area in your home that you'd like to renovate. Yeah, so take a picture, if it's your kitchen, if it's your bedroom, take a picture of that, right? And then post a screenshot of that final look on the CTM competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter pages. Don't forget to use the hashtag 40 years of CTM, and that's the standard chance to win. Don't forget your competition closes on the 25th of October, and your T's and C's do again. Do apply once again, Zanzi, I think this kitchen definitely deserves a massive round of applause. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we are all about that base, that comb base. That's what I'm talking about. It's sensational, honestly. And I'm looking forward to more of those recipes coming your way very soon. But I have a scenario for you. Um, I want Ryle, after all the excitement, to come through just to chat to me a bit more about a would you rather scenario that's going to twist your mind just a touch. Ooh, okay. Have a Bring seat, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so here's, here's my situ situation, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, for, for anybody who is looking to, you know, kind of like wait a bit and, and get money invested and all the interest, you know, I, I think it's, it's wonderful to be that patient. Although we do live in South Africa, so this is why I need to pose something to you in okay. a little game of would you rather. Dum, now, dum, dum. here's the thing, okay? Would you rather receive five million rand tomorrow? I put yes. that into your bank account. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Or wait and receive 50 million rand if I say to you, I will guarantee that money to you in 10 years. Oh. That 10th year, at the end of it, you'll get your 50 million. Talk oh man, that's a tricky one because firstly, Feels like the five million is a challenge. Can I turn that into more and turn it into more than 50 million in, in 10, 10 years? In 10 years, would your five million become oh, 50 million? Oh, that is That's tough. the big question. But what do I do for the first 10 years before I even get that money? I just got to survive. This is tricky. I, I okay. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm going crazy. Your mind. Okay, I'm going to back myself here. I believe yeah. I'm going to still be around for the next 10 years. I okay. hope so, okay? Right. So, if I know that that 50 is coming in, oh, this is tricky, man. I'll probably... Live a life of credit until I get to the 50 mil and then blow it and then know that I can pay off my okay. debts knowing the 50 mils yeah. come through and pretty much I'm sure enjoy the rest of my life. But that's a tricky one, man, because it also if I took that 5 mil and invested it now, like, is it going to be worth that 50 mil in 10 years' time? And no, uh, bro, you stopped me here. It's not likely. You stopped me here. Because of the interest rates in South Africa, man. But I think that. I don't think we're going to get I want to check out a couple of comments. Like, yeah, second, that's we a good actually one. also asked you about it. We said, you know what? Would you rather. Five mil tomorrow, 50 mil in 10 years. This is what came through. Mbali mm. said, receive five million rand tomorrow. Naturally, Mbali, you live in South Africa. I get you. Yeah, that does make sense. Look, Tanya also says, A, that means taking the money right now. That's tomorrow, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, nobody knows what tomorrow brings. Tanya well, also added mil. that. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, after tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Corbus Daniel saying, tough one. I'll go with A and invest half of it and spend the other half because life is tough now in South Africa. Oh, I know. The Mzansi, maybe. Um, I, I saw another comment there maybe mentioning the fact that you would rather wait for 50 million in 10 years yeah. take your money seriously but that's a really good question i think not knowing that uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen in 10 years is definitely showing through in south africa yeah and life is tough right now i need to live and get out of the hole now so that makes sense man 50 mil for me in 10 years generational wealth is more important to me so
So I'll suckle it for the next 10 years and then make sure the re next generation gets that. a bit of that 50 mil. But when it comes to money, there is never a right or wrong answer. But as always, I hope these would you rather scenarios get you thinking about money in new and interesting ways that help you weigh out the various pros and cons of any financial decision that you do make. Good luck. Mabel, check this. With a MyGold's premium account, you get 12 free airport lounge visits. 12? Yeah. Got that big when are you busy planning your next getaway during office hours? Ah, uh, man. Look, I know what I would do with all that money is definitely do some renovations, right? And yep. if you are in the mood for renovations, especially after seeing our kitchen, then CTM are bringing us a renovation inspiration oh, yeah. in our homes. I can't wait for that one. And then, of course, in our new kitchen, we have to entertain. In fact, we have to clem entertain, And we'll <laughs> do just that in the next couple of minutes. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Oh, yes, Mzanzi, welcome back at your feel-good breakfast show. And it's feeling so good with our new studio. But before we dive into more of our indoor decor action, let's get back to official duties and Carl standing by. Thanks, Ryle. Let's take a look at the news nationally. Let's start there. The Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa, Contra Lessa, has issued a fervent plea to the government and ESCOM for the exemption of educational institutions from the disruptive effects of load shedding. The call stems from the imminent commencement of final examinations for the matric class of 2023, scheduled to start at the end of the month. And Contra Lessa's president, Jose Lamek Mokwena, emphasizes the need for collective efforts to ensure an enabling environment for learners to adequately prepare for their critical examinations. Now, unaudited data from the Central Energy Fund shows that fuel prices may decrease in November after three consecutive fuel price increases. The Automobile Association, the AA, said both grades of petrol are expected to drop by some 1 Rand 90 and diesel by 70 cents per litre. Fuel prices have been on the rise since August, with petrol currently retailing at over 25 Rand a litre. The AA said fuel prices may be negatively affected by the present conflict in the Middle East. On to international news, an Israeli airstrike on a hospital in the Gaza Strip has claimed at least 500 victims, a spokesperson for the health ministry in Gaza said yesterday. The Israeli military said it didn't yet have details on a reported hospital bombing. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization, the WHO, says it urgently needs access to Gaza to deliver medical supplies. It says some 2,800 people have died and about 11,000 are wounded in Gaza since Israeli attacks began. Almost 
almost half are women and children. Israel began airstrikes in Gaza after a Hamas attack on October 7 had claimed more than 1,300 lives and abducted almost 200. Now, Nigeria has burnt pangolin scales uh, worth some $1.4 million in a stand against wildlife trafficking. It was the first time Nigeria had publicly destroyed seized wildlife products for this reason. The pangolin is arguably the world's most trafficked mammal. Its scales are in high demand in traditional Chinese medicine. Nigeria is a major transit hub for African pangolin scales, which are trafficked to Asia. Uh, these seized items represent the past we leave behind, but their destruction signifies the future we are determined to build for our planet environment. Minister Iziak Arakunle said. And for millions of viewers all over the world, a fat bear week in Alaska is something of the past. But those that voted crowned a new winner in the form of Grazer, a defense mama bear and first-time winner of the sought-after title, she beat second-place Chunk, a larger male bear, by more than 85,000 votes. Fat Bear Week, an online event founded in 2014, has become an internet sensation, attracting millions of viewers each year when fans pick their favorite out of 12 plump brown bears from Alaska's Katmai National Park that gather along to Brooks River to chomp on salmon and pack on those many kilograms before winter. Uh, this year, Grazer proved to be the most prolific angler, hence bagging the coveted prize well done to that amazing animal. That's it for the news, and I think we have something else to bear the protea results. Yeah, let's try to bear this one indeed, Carlitos, as we dive into the cricket news. First up, and the Protea suffered a crushing 38-run loss to the Netherlands in their World Cup group clash at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamsala. Now, when a rain affected 43 over match, the Netherlands recovered from 140 runs for seven wickets to set a target of 245 for eight. Now, the Proteus stumbled to 44 for four and eventually got dismissed for 207 runs. Now, this surprising outcome mirrored the Dutch's victory over the Proteus in the previous T20 World Cup, raising some eyebrows. Now, South Africa's next challenge is against England on Saturday, and that's October the 21st, the same day the Springboks tackle England in the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup. Well, from uh, rugby news, let's head over to football action. And Bafana Bafana put up a strong performance, securing a one-all draw against Ivory Coast in the international friendly at Stade Fili Hoifuet Boini. And that was in Abidjan. Now, Tembas won his goal, gave South Africa an early lead, but Ivory Coast, who controlled position and applied consistent offensive pressure, leveled the score with a goal from Sebastian Haller in the second half. Now, both teams will soon shift their focus to the 2026 World Cup qualifiers, with Ivory Coast facing Seychelles at home and South Africa hosting Benin. Now, additionally, the AFCON 2023 is scheduled for January 2024. Well, moving on to golfing news right now, and Ryder Cup luminaries Nikolai Hoigard and Bob McIntyre are poised for more success at the upcoming Nedbank Golf Challenge. And that's taking place from November the 9th up until the 12th. Now, fresh from their contributions to Luke Donald's triumphant European team in Rome, the duo is ready to shine once again. Now, Roy Gard, alongside his twin brother Rasmus, is eager to make strides in the race to Dubai rankings, while McIntyre, with a consistent season, featuring six top ten finishes, including a second place at the Genesis Scottish Open, is determined to secure his third DP World Tour win before the year ends. Uh, lastly, in our uh, news, uh, well, sport news specifically, and this is something that is absolutely crazy. Motorsports uh, stars and sports stars alike, Rory McIlroy, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Anthony Joshua, and Juan Mata are joining an impressive 200 million euro investment into Formula One team Alpine Racing. Now, the initiative, led by investment firm Otto Capital, also includes Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhenney, and Michael B. Jordan. Now, previously, this consortium acquired a 24% stake in Alpine in June, and currently Alpine, backed by Renault, holds the sixth position in the F1 Constructors' Championship with five races remaining in the 2023 season. Well, that's all the news when it comes to sport. We'll do it all again in the hour. For now, though, many of you heading out on the roads. Let's see how we can serve you when it comes to traffic.
thanks, Raul. So two incidents to share with you if you are still heading to work. Let's start in Cape Town and Goodwood. There's congestion on the N7 South at the N1 inbound ramp. Do expect delays and allow for more travel time. Then Rawsonville in the Western Cape as well. There is a road closure on the N1 outbound at Rawsonville. One lane is closed. No current delays expected, but uh, please just make a note of that on your way to work. That's what I have for you with regard to traffic. Let's take a look at the weather. Starting with weather news, the SA Weather Service has issued no warnings for today. Meanwhile, KwaZulu-Natal disaster management teams continue to ex uh, evacuate uh, families and respond to infrastructure damages after a number of homes were submerged after heavy rain, which started on Sunday. Several roads have been damaged or closed, including part of the Hewlett's Bridge, which collapsed on the old south coast uh, road, and a boundary wall of the Botanic Gardens on John Sikali Drive uh, in Morningside, uh, Durban. Now, that also collapsed, resulting in parts of the road being unstable. Moreover, several roads in Etiquini experienced water logging, although they remain open. No injuries or fatalities were reported. We wish those operations a very, very quick and speedy uh, cleanup, of course. Now, temperature-wise, let's take a look at all the temperatures across South Africa. If any of these are relevant to you, take a peek and find out what to wear. Thirty-six in Uppington, eh? So hydrate, please, and stay out of the sun as often as you can today. So those are your temperatures. I did tell you earlier that sunrise views have become a competition. This has been a dream of mine, and finally it's happened. So if your sunrise is something beautiful about it and you want to share, share it, please. I have a hundred rand of Ryle's money to give you today. He's got many influencer campaigns that gives him uh, lots of disposable income for this purpose. So remember to include a short story, a weather report, maybe a voice note uh, from your part of town, and enter by just sending that sunrise view to 063-408-8863 and winning 100 rand of Ryle's money today, Yolandi Kluter from Kales River. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful view. And all you said was, wow, what a beautiful day in the mother city already. It is indeed 100 bucks on its way to you as we speak. In fact, keep it coming as we give uh, you some more entertainment on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And here's Ryle looking like 100 rand has been taken from him from me. <laughs> Stop it, you. You know that you owe me that money still calls, so I'm all happy, man. <laughs> so, Nzadzi, thank you for sending those incredible pictures, and the money's definitely arriving in your pocket. For now, though, it's time to get excited because we're talking about some entertainment in the kitchen, and with our new kitchen, we've got all the inspiration we need. On top of that, also some inspiration when it comes to home interior decor, changing up the mood, and CTM has us covered. All that and a whole lot more right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Don't go anywhere. Oh, you can make my day.
Welcome back to a Wednesday in the kitchen, but not just any kitchen. It's the brand new kitchen, and it's the culinary hotline bling! Ding, ding, ding! Honestly, honestly, this kitchen counter is so big, I'm going to have to take an Uber from this end to that end, but walk with me, walk with me. Summer is officially here, and to help you along with all your entertaining and getting the best food you can possibly get on the table, I bought professional private chef, Courts Anders into the kitchen. Welcome, it's your first time in the kitchen. Thank you, yes. You get to you get to experience your first time in the kitchen. In and the, the first new kitchen. Time, yeah, and the first time cooking in this new kitchen, so we're very, very excited. So bringing you the, here this morning was purely strategy. We know that our guests are gonna be entertaining this festive season. I brought in a professional who knows how to cater amazing food for like masses, right? Correct. Sometimes small, but you also do those big groups. So yes. today is all about, today, let me tell them, today is all about getting professional tips on how you can prepare the most amazing food this festive season. And if you have any questions regarding anything foodie related, send us a WhatsApp voice note to 063-408-8863. Okay, are you, are you excited? Yes. Okay, let's do this. I, 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 I honestly, I'm so just obsessed with this kitchen. You know when something's so nice, you don't want to, like, touch it? Mm. But we're going to have to cook, because that's why we're here. So what are we making for our first dish? Okay, we are going to make double smash burgers mm. with che or cheesy double smash burgers. Oh, yes. With my delicious secret sauce, which I want you to make, please. For sure. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start on the burgers. Okay, so my, I, was, I was instructed, as soon as you start, get the burger patties down on the grill. So I'm going to give that 30 seconds to heat up nice while you talk hot. through what's actually inside this beautiful patty okay you got this you got this <laughs> so I, I i like the idea that you're introing with a burger so i'm you, you can mix i'm gonna talk to so long because okay. i feel like there's so much you can do ahead of time when it comes to preparing burgers because yeah. the buns i mean obviously yes that you do close to the time because you don't want it to be stale or toasted too advanced but the, the mints and the actual fillings and the slicing of the tomatoes and lettuce you can do that way ahead of time and keep it fresh yep. so is this is that why it's a go-to for you 100 percent. it's just so easy and it's always a crowd pleaser i mean you can do it for one person you can do it for your family or you can just do it for 20 people and it will just it's so quick and easy slap the burgers on the grill put it together and you have juicy delicious burgers in 15 minutes. There we go, I like that. And also depending how like rustic or authentic you wanna keep it, you could get like burgers off the braai and not have to serve them on plates, right? You can serve them like just like in. Straight in the serviette. Look, I'm always looking for ways to not do dishes. So that seems like a great one for me. So that's really great. Okay, so what went inside our filling? So we got some onions and garlic, smoked paprika for the smokiness, salt and pepper and some dried mixed herbs. Then I'm gonna go in with the eggs, mm -hmm. just to bind it. And a handful of panko. And the panko, I really like when you get like fricadels or meatballs when you add the breadcrumbs to it. It's got this a magic way of just keeping things juicy. Yeah. And that's what I love. I mean, a dry burger is pretty much Oh my God, sad. it's like eating cardboard. Oh, no, it's very, very sad. So I like the fact that you've got those breadcrumbs in there. And, and like, also, like I learned from the moms and the aunts out there, when they actually soak the breadcrumbs in milk, in milk. first, even juicier, so that's a great way. Plus, it bulks up your mint, so you'll go from like serving four people to now be able to serve like six or yeah, maybe more, 100%. just because you've added that, that element in there. Okay, so you're busy giving it a mix, and the shaping you can obviously do, we spoke about that ahead of time, and you can just shape all your burger patties, so come the day, get them on the right, boom, 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 boom. But I wanted to chat to you because Registration has started for young um, high schoolers to apply for whatever they want to do when it comes to their next steps in the career. If they are looking at chefing, right? We brought yeah. quite a few chefs on and we haven't had a lot of private chefs, so I want to get your insight. How did you end up being a private chef? Just in case there are any young students out there that want to be a private chef. So after, my, uh, after I studied, mm -hmm. I went into um, to industrial kitchens and I just really didn't enjoy it. Like, I love being creative, I love being my own person, and I love showcasing my creativity in my food. When, when you're in, in industrial kitchens, you're creating someone else's food, and you, you, you're cooking, I mean, you cook delicious food, yes, mm -hmm. but you're not showcasing yourself, and you can't be expressive. I express myself through my food. So when I decided to become a private chef, it was, A, very daunting for me, 
Um, I didn't think I could do it. And then I did my first week and it was amazing. And I just, yeah, it just comes to you so naturally. And you just, I woke up every morning and I was like, right, um, going to Woolworths, open the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna cook lamb today. And it was just, that's just how it is. And let me just tell you viewers out there, um, Court's clients are so high profile that we can't actually talk about them on the show. And I'm being very serious. So it's, it's, very, it's a very exciting job. Yes. And the fact that you get to be creative every day, yes. change up the menu, I love that. Okay, cool, so we got our um, patties down. That's what's doing its thing. Let's talk about the buns. Those look like brioche buns. They are brioche buns. I want, to, I want to specifically brioche buns mm -hmm. because it's more flavor and softer. Um, and then I always like to toast the buns. Very important. Very, very important. Slap some butter on there, put it on mm -hmm. the... Uh, you can even put it on the grill before you you um, do the burgers, so you can even do one pot. This is like, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. Absolutely, and I get that. Okay, so filling's done, patty's going, buns are toasted, and everything's been sliced ahead of time. I think we can go ahead and assemble one. We need to make the sauce first. The sauce. Okay, so talk to me about the sauce. You okay. Guys, okay, sorry, I'm gonna go back to it again. I'm obsessed with this new kitchen, honestly. Okay, loving it. We're walking and talking. Walking and talking. These need to come off. Are they good, good? Yeah, Do you good. melt your cheese on the patty? Yes. Or do you melt them? Yes. Let me bring this board to you over here while I go in working the sauce. So, for the sauce, we got mayonnaise going into the bowl. Ketchup. All of it? No. Like half? Quarter. Like half, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's good. And then we've got some chopped pickles. Now, here's where I feel like it totally depends if you're a pickle person, because I would But add... you know what? Even if it, I have made these for even non-pickle persons, uh -huh. and they still love it. Non-pickle persons. Non-pickle okay, persons. Okay, cool. I'm a pickle person. Okay, cool. So, there we go. In we go. Like Did that. It? No. Maybe it's a bit more than I was supposed to, but I'm a pickle person. Then onions. <laughs> onions go in. Onions go in. So what I found is if people are put off there by like this very strong flavor of raw onions, put a little boiling water over them for just like 30 seconds. Yeah, and it takes it away. It takes that, that astringent, like that harsh onion flavor away. And then makes it a lot sweeter. Okay, cool. So let's do this. We've got exactly one minute to boil the most amazing smash burgers. Did you put the Worcester sauce in? Oh, that smells amazing. It actually smells very familiar and I don't want to say what sauce it smells like. It's that very famous, famous one. Um, we can't say the name, but yes. You can't it's, say the name, you can't say that's the name. where it's from. But basically, if you want the recipe to the famous burger sauce, this is it. A little bit of that Worcester sauce to add a little bit of umami, umami, I like that. So I'm cool. gonna shove these on here for now. Sure. They don't over. Do you need, a, do you need this to go on the base of your, of your yes, buns? Yes, please. Okay, cool, I'm not using a spoon now. We're gonna pour it this way. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, very quickly. Burger sauce goes down. A little bit more. You need to be. You need to be really kind. There Burger go. sauce goes down. Let's get this. Let's. Okay. So now we're gonna build in the second. We'll come back to show you the reveal. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna be right back with more culinary hotline bling. Ching ching ching. Oh man. They have to cut. The kitchen is looking good. The food Chris. is even better. <laughs> now, think about your home as the canvas that needs to be sort of filmed with love and beauty, of course, and design. And, you know, like, you have to build the happiness in that space. I mean, as we've done in the kitchen, it's so important. Oh, right? yes, we do. And it's an improvement journey that we are about to go on because Harmony got to showcase the exciting launch of designers at CTM to celebrate 40 years of their service to South Africa. Let's take a look. Design and build are a match made in renovation heaven. I've just touched down at CTM Boxburg, where we are about to see and witness the launch of the exciting new designer collaboration. Let's meet those who are on the ground to help you elevate your home as SA's leading tile company. Lance, congratulations on an incredible launch. But can you tell everyone who's watching at home what is happening today and why are we here? Yeah, we were very excited to be partnering with Tabo Macheta, a top uh, leading fashion designer both in South Africa and internationally acclaimed. And uh, we're trying something a bit different. Uh, we're trying to bring a local design flair into our fashion world of tiles. And uh, Tabo's really knocked it out the park, translating uh, the movement and, and style of her garments 
in, into a select exclusive range of tiles for us that speak to culture and, and heritage in Africa. We hope it's a first step in, in many more partnerships like this. With all this beauty on display, my renovation flame has just been ignited. Let's see how the incredibly talented Tabo Macheta has redefined the idea of tiles through art. I think I'm not the only one who's curious about the collaboration with CTM and also why you decided to use the Basutu inspired designs. You know, as a fashion designer, especially looking at COVID and the effects that it has had on fashion, we've realized that a lot of people are really taking care of their homes more because, you know, we weren't going out, so there was no need for the clothing. So then the question became like, how do we clothe the home? So to use the Basotu inspiration, that is my heritage, that is my story, that's where I come from. And it's just so beautiful to just see how we've managed to take it to another level and incorporate it into tiles. and. Like, I'm still blown away by what I'm seeing behind me here. This is pioneering. This is innovative. Because I, for one, didn't even think I would dress up and put my fashion foot forward in a CTM, a tile company, right? But when I saw the vision behind it and saw that it's trying to also uplift local talent and make a fashion statement in your homes, tell a story through your tiles. You know, that's, that's, that's unheard of. So it was very exciting for me to see what Tabo Macheta was going to do with the whole vision. And having these two exceptional brands collaborate with putting a perfect blend of fashion with function. Storytelling, style and fashion in your homes. Design adds value and build adds functionality to the look and feel of your home. How incredible is it that CTM offers the finest quality and the best of both worlds? How do these new tiles differentiate CTM in the market? It's really a, the first of its kind. You won't find this anywhere else. Um, it's something unique. It's something exclusive, something not a lot of people will have in their homes. Know your story as an African and be proud to tell it. And with Tabo's designs, it tells a story. It really shows you where she comes from. And it's something that can relate to anybody. You know, without a doubt, Tabo is one of my favorite people. I love her clothing, I wear her clothing, and I'm just so excited that she's taken basically her brand to, and I hate the expression, the next level, but this literally <laughs> is it. I love the fact that she's, she's expanding, she's thinking of different things, different applications, ways to apply her creativity, and I think it comes at the perfect time, because I think South Africans are ready to embrace everything that is us. You know, so I've loved it and I've been pleasantly surprised. I love the patterns, I love the texture, I love the prints. She's, she's nailed it. There's so much power in backing proudly South African innovation and craftsmanship. And now you can have a piece of it too. When you think about tiles immediately, you think about Italians, you think about marble. And that's because that's their heritage and their culture that we have adopted. So this is that time where now we are saying, let's also take our story, learn from them, and then see how we can incorporate it and start putting it into tiles as well. So, you know, we are creating new traditions. Uh, my favorite is this uh, lovely uh, wall tile. It's got a TM uh, sort of trademark uh, in there, which uh, at the right light uh, catches it. My favorite thing about the launch was getting to see how proud and happy everyone was about this beautiful collaboration between an artist and a beautiful decor brand. Today, we saw the embodying of a perfect fusion of style and groundbreaking innovation. And in my book, that is an initiative that I want to get behind to take my home from a house to a masterpiece. <laughs> what was in the bag, Ralph? Yeah, what did he, what did he yeah. take away with him? There's so many options. Like maybe a one tile. One tile? Just, just pluck it on the wall there. It's Absolute perfection. Elevated. It's, it's <laughs> lovely, but it's good to have your home in harmony. Thank you. 
Harmony. Now, you too can elevate your home with CTM as we celebrate our local craftsmen with an exciting opportunity for three winners mm -hmm. to win one of three 40,000 Rand CTM shopping vouchers. Yeah, now to enter the competition, shop the complete Tabo Marcheta range at the CTM. Then uh, two wall towels, a resting towel, a feature towel, and a floor towel for an automatic entry into right. the competition. Now, the T's and C's do apply, and you can visit ctm.co.za for more info. Absolutely. Good luck to you. And of course, Chef Clem had to finish a burger for me. Oh. Um, is it done? Yes. So we are back in the kitchen to finish Carl Wastey's burger. Thank so you. courts, please take, take it away. So I made the mistake. I prepared two buns, but this is a double smash burger. So this one that doesn't have any meat or cheese is for Grant Hines. It's a veggie burger for him. But this looks so good. And that ratio of the ratio of meat to bun is absolutely perfect. I'm not going to take a bite because this is for Carl. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Culinary Hotline right after this. <laughs> Now, I think our transformation of our very own studio has proven this point emphatically. The quickest way to completely transform a space is with wallpaper. And boy, how that game is changing. Not only does wallpaper allow you to express your personality, it can also help to create areas of interest in your home and make it feel completely your own. It's your space, own it. And St. Ledger and Viney have done just that for our Espresso Studio. We love our playground. And I'm here with the man at the heart of this incredible creativity, David Ralphs from St. Ledger and Viney, to tell us a little bit more and to say thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How does the space make you feel? It feels amazing. I think the space is incredible and is a testament to what can be achieved with using wallpaper, wall coverings, and the value that they add to, first of all, to a creative space like yes. your, the, the Espresso Studio, but also to um, people's home spaces and to workspaces. When we look at this kind of wallpaper, these kind of wall coverings, how you can tell a story in a way that just transcends, what is so powerful about this artistic medium. It almost feels like we're shifting away from just decor into a very artistic space. 
Yeah. So um, if you look at the transformation of wallpaper and wall coverings over, let's call it, the last few decades, largely thanks to the substrates that are used and also to the, the flexibility that one now has in terms of digital, digital printing, the ability to print on much broader surfaces, much wider surfaces. But what you've got here um, behind me is a wall covering called Ndebele. Um, it's from a company called Elatisse, which is one of our brands. In fact, all of the wall coverings that you see here today are from Elatisse. Thank you to Elatisse as well. And, and, we, and we are very grateful to them. And I think for your audience that are keyed into Indebele art, one would usually expect that to be a geometric pattern with a certain degree of re repetition to it. Sure. And then you've got multi-colors, and usually those range from deep reds yellows through golds, and then other colors, softer colors, softer blues, pinks, um, greens. Um, and what Elatis have done here is they've gone into that Indebele art space, but what they've done is they've superimposed a, almost like a cultural statement, I think, of inclusivity, if you look at what's happening um, on the face of the wallpaper. It just speaks to an openness. There is something very individual, but it makes you feel something yes. when, you, when you view it, which is absolutely beautiful. Does this speak to possibly a shift in trend? So I would say I've touched on two themes, really, and that the, the first one would be using wall coverings and wallpapers as art. And I think yeah. if, you look at, if, if you look at what else is going on in the space, so talking to the arches behind you, for example, and on the facing wall, we've got two beautiful arches also picked out in magnificent sort of graphic color. Um, what we're seeing is we're seeing these are art pieces installed via the medium of wallpaper and wall coverings. The other trend I wanted to talk about is um, a trend toward maximalism. If we can talk about the contrast being minimalism, if you look at, um, let's just say 10 or 15 full years of, call it less is more, yeah. maximalism would be going the other way. So taking um, your, your space, your personal space, and layering it, and putting in more as opposed to less. When we look at the building blocks, we have loved this couch. I never get to sit on it unless I'm getting <laughs> interviewed, and I hate that fact. It is gorgeous. There are so many talking points from texture, from shape, the fabrics being used. Just talk me through this creation, how one piece can yeah. create such a stir. So this is a quality that it's called Aries. It talks to a trend of a, a type of fabric called boucle, okay. and boucle fabrics are made from um, looped yarns, this would be, say, taking it to the outer limits of a boucle, of a boucle kind of fabric. Uh, see how far kind we can fabric. take this thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell by the guests who sit down on our brand new couch, they feel it. I They're happy, it. happy to be here. Um, and often we don't have to go as far as transforming the entire space. Just introducing a new print on a cushion yes. can make all of the difference. And it gives you a flexibility in spaces. How important is the finishing touch? It can make the world of difference. So Ledger and Viney has recently launched a, a new initiative called SLV Home. Okay. It's an online initiative, um, and it is accessory-driven. So it's, um, the website is called slvhome.co.za, and what you're seeing here are a couple of examples of the scatters that have come into the various themes that we've launched in the first round of SLV Home. So it does, it allows you to add your kind of personal touch, and in a way that's accessible, it's easy to get to, it's not expensive, um, and yes, it's beautiful, and for as long as you like the scheme that you choose, you can have this version of it. And if you choose something else in a year's time, um, again, it's easy to change. Now, I understand why you sit at the top tier, my friend. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, some insights that hopefully have inspired you. Now, let's take that a step further. We have two beautiful cushions up for grabs, valued at 950 Rand each. What we want you to do right now is head to the St. Ledger and Viney post on our social media pages and tell us why you would love the St. Ledger and Viney cushions for your home. What difference would they make in your space? That competition closes Friday, 5 p.m. After this, I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of entrance, so get it in and make sure yours is good. Enter now and you could be bringing this incredible flavor, this individual style, just a touch of this brilliance into your home.
Thanks a lot, G. Beautiful wallpaper. And of course, you know what? How does the entire setup look? I mean, we're very, very happy. We even dressed for the occasion. Brand new kitchen, brand new wallpaper. But of course, let's uh, take a look at some of your comments. Yeah, now Josephine Pickstone, always coming through. Our family says, beautiful. Love it. Very classic. And not one, not two, but three massive hearts. So you know, it's some good stuff. <laughs> All right, and a long name, Venetia. Desiree, Bottomley Yankee, saying, beautiful. The whole studio is Beautiful, we it agree. Is indeed. Tamlin Lee also coming through saying, beautiful, so cool and calm. Definitely is. I'm getting that feeling of like nature, and definitely inspired by like calm, calm water, so to speak. Curves. It's making me feel zen. Tembisa saying, oh my, this is, and using that beautiful magnifique emoji like that. <laughs> and then we've got Mafo Mama Folo, Iris La Chloca, who says, beautiful with massive flames. We've also got Joanne Mayer saying, 100% beautiful. Uh, this is like the new approval, stamp of approval yes. emoji. Yeah, we've got it, Mzanzi. I love the fact that everybody's loving our new studio. It's making me feel even better just working here right now and forgetting they're not even working here. And the, look, the comments have kept coming through. We've got some more for you. Uh, let's see what else we can read out. Um, I see one last one from Yuri saying the Kitchen Island is uh, incredible. It's got, uh, definitely something that needs a name or something of the sort. So maybe Absolutely. you have some idea for what we must name this kitchen. I know the island itself is like a whole journey on its own. Like I could stand on the other side. Cole, are you there? I, you know what? I'm here and I'm ready to, for, for more action on your Feel Good Breakfast oh, show. Bring Given it the on. fact that we've got a beautiful setup, so we're going to continue bringing you all the action. We've got another round in the kitchen there with Chef Clem. Mm. And also we've got many things to discuss with you. So make sure you stick around on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We'll be right back. To the brave hearts who persevere against all odds, we salute you. Along with Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave, we're inspiring hope across South Africa this Hopetober. Stand a chance to win 1,500 Rand cash every weekday by answering the weekly Hopetober competition question on Expresso's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages throughout the month of October using hashtag Hopetober and hashtag sponsors of Brave. T's and C's can be found on Expresso. Show.com. And we're back, and 
my favorite place in the studio, and to be honest with you, it's the coolest space in the kitchen, in the whole studio, sorry. Absolutely amazing, Chef Quartz. Um, yeah. Carl Wasty hasn't given me feedback on his burger yet, but I also haven't seen him eat it. I think he like wrapped it up and put it in his pocket. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah, no, no, this, he's obsessed with his burger, so we'll get, we'll get Carl's feedback in a second about that burger. Tell me, we're about to go some fresh green. Fresh of... green, summery salad that's amazing for entertaining. And it involves pearl couscous. So again, if you have any questions for myself or Chef Courts, please let us know in a WhatsApp voice note. That number is 6, 063 Okay. Pearl couscous? Pearl couscous is life-changing. Right, so you might be familiar with, with normal couscous at home. Pearl couscous is its chunkier cousin. It's delicious. It's amazing. What I love about it most is the fact that you can make this days in advance. I just days. feel like the flavor just gets better and, and better, better the as longer it, as it, it sits. And then do you cook your pearl couscous the same way you do normal couscous, or is it a little more cooking involved? No, my normal couscous, I just pour hot water with a plastic wrap over it, mm -hmm. and then it will, the, the residual heat will cook the couscous. This one I'll do in a pot for, with some salt. With a bit of salt, yeah. Like two to one ratio for the water, and maybe like five, seven minutes. And you don't want to overcook No, couscous. because then it's just gonna, it loses its shape completely. It becomes and then one it becomes giant, Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man. Okay, cool, so let's talk about how we're gonna be filling this amazing couscous salad. So I'm trying to get the most green yeah. That's packed with flavor. Radish, always with a pink. And for that slight little bit of pepperiness. Bright, bright little colors to it. We're going to do some grilled veggies to get mm. beautiful. Can you start cutting those, actually? Yes, please? talk to me. So we're going to do grilled asparagus and grilled zucchini just to like, get that flavor going. And once, the, as of the zucchini comes off the pan, I want you to put it in a bowl and zest some lemon zest over it with salt and pepper, and sure. it will literally absorb all that citrus. I'm literally gonna need a bowl, so I'm gonna ask someone to get me a nice big bowl, but in the meantime, for your zucchini slash marrows, Sliced in just in half or yeah. thin slices? No, 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 straight, straight in half. We're gonna keep it chunky. Oh, thank you, because that's the thing about like, when people talk salads, I feel like they forget that any dish is supposed to be about texture. Yeah. And then they chop things up like super small and it doesn't make sense when you can literally have big chunk, a lot of texture. And again, you're adding extra, an extra, another layer of flavor with that. With the grill. With the grill, there we go. So let me just get these Get a going. beautiful charred edge. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. This looks, I mean, it's pretty amazing given that the seasons change in South Africa and what, besides the beautiful warm weather, what we end up getting is also an abundance of fresh produce. So it's a great way to kind of play around and get the best of the seasonal produce. Can I use a little bit of your oil? Yes. So please. I know that this is for your dressing. I just need a little bit. Just Carl. a smidge. Oh, no. Carl, Carl Wasty. So when I was laying down after my burger. You did eat your burger? How so, was your burger, Carl? Oh, my word. It was phenomenal. Also, I don't know why I haven't been invited to this this like beautiful cooking. Listen, thing. like why am I not involved here? Should I come chop just, chop? I just wanted to be a part of it. I got you a bowl though. Thank you. Thank it's you. Very kind, Carl. Yes, while you. while you are here, can you talk about this kitchen? And I'll be very honest with you, this kitchen, just the count alone, I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the first apartment I ever had. So wow. very impressed. Talk about this kitchen, right? Okay, this kitchen. First and foremost, you know, Curbs. I've been watching this reality TV show about home renovation. Yes. And Curbs is massively trendy in in that particular place. It's a renovation show down under. And oh. curves, it actually creates flow. Yeah. Have you notice how corners are quite, curves is about flow. If you look at the way we operate on your feel good breakfast show and the way we make our food, everything has a flow to it. Yeah. There's a cycle. And I think with curves, you're actually saying to your home, you're saying like, welcome, be a part of the flow of the home. And we're doing the same thing on Expresso. Absolutely. And I actually want to, like, Carl, you and I can take a walk to the... Courtney, we'll be right back. Yes. We'll be, You'll be, we'll back be right back. back. So this is what Carl's talking about. Yes. And I feel like it invites the movement of how the kitchen suggests you should move. Exactly. And that's how they've done it with this... This is not a... It's not a home decor show, but we, we're obsessed, okay? We are. The, the curve on the end and the fact so that... So as you walked... Okay, so I'm going to walk over here. So I'm going to enter the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Walk with me here for a second. Instead of me coming to a place where, okay, this is the top of the table, what you're saying is that everybody is equal. There's no top of the table. Right. This is yes. part. We are all equal around this beautiful table. This counter space is about us being equal. In fact, continue to follow me all the way through. Past Clem, I'm going to continue, right? Someone's chopping over here. I'm continuing. And we're going to continue to flow and flow. And as we go and go, we flow. It's simple. Look at that. It is. Hey. And now I'm back here. Am I at the head of the table? At the bottom of the table? There's no head. There's no bottom. We are all equal on your feel-good breakfast show. Look how I walk back. Look at that. 
Look, I'm walking back. Yeah. Left, right, it's left, gorgeous. right. Left Look foot, right that. foot. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Look at it. No, Beautiful. so true story, I actually went to the team that built this amazing kitchen and I told them and I, I, I said it, this is the best kitchen we have ever, Agreed. ever had. So, um, yeah, um, I'm moving in. I'll be here 24-7. Yeah. This is really good. And yeah. another thing is that we did put a bit of a measurement thing about the counter height and they listened. Otherwise, I may have disappeared. But they did it perfectly, so you can still see at least this section of me. I'm happy. I really am. That is looking gorgeous. I'm going to let you continue. Thank you. By the way, you've been a treat today. Thank you. You are Carl. wonderful. Okay, I'm out now. He's Bye out. Now. He's out. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl Wasty. Okay, back to the cooking. We're getting some nice color on our veggies. And again, we don't want to overcook it because we're loving the green and the and crunch. And you need the crunch. The, there we go. The most important is the crunch. There we go. Now I'm going to start assembling. Can please I start do, assembling? Please do. Full couscous, already been cooked, salt and pepper. And you want to season every element that you add Correct. to the couscous. You want to add, make sure you're not missing, lacking seasoning. So, chickpeas for a little bit of flavor. I dip. say meatiness as well, right? You get that, 100%. like, there we go. With that umami flavor. There we go. Chickpeas. And we're going going to with the edamames, cucumber. And again, this is everything you can blanch and chop way ahead of time. Everything can be done ahead of time. I'm going to go in with this delicious red onion here. Oh, yes, you told me to get it into the bowl and then hit it with? Lemon zest. Lemon zest, lemon zest. Radish. There we go. Beautiful chopped parsley. Bit of salt and pepper. And again, the reason you want to season these while they're still warm any ingredient, any vegetable, any fruit, anything, just seems to absorb seasoning so much better when it's still hot. So make sure you get your seasoning on there when it's still hot. Just lemon zest. Just lemon zest. Because why? if you do it if it's, when it's hot, it absorbs that flavor so much faster. Mm -hmm. And then they just become oh, this beautiful citrus flavor. Got it, got it. Thank goodness for, guys, Functional Kitchen, we actually have drawers and cupboards we can use. It's like, like your mom's house, man. Wow, I love it. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay. Clem, can I put you to work? Please. Can you cut these for me? So, How? rough cuts about this thick. Okay, and that's everything? That's everything. Got you, got Shove you, got, it all got together. you. We, want, we don't want it too thin to lose their... to lose their texture. The texture and integrity. There we go. 100%. There we nice. go. I'm, I'm coming gonna straight in with the board. It. We're going to go straight from the board. Straight from the board. I'm going to start on our dressing. We've got some honey over here. I'm going to ask Nicole to bring us a beautiful platter so we can plate up this beautiful couscous salad. Lemon juice. And can I have my olive oil back? Please? Olive oil back, yes. There we go. Thank you. Full of, I like, I like the, the avo that's gone in there. That's going to make it nice and creamy. Love it. The colors. We're going to come back to show you the final product because I want to plate this up beautifully because I can see it. Courtney's nearly done with that beautiful dressing, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Culinary Hotline Bling! Bling, bling, bling! Please, folks.
Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Express in S3. And we're ready to focus on a couple of amazing rugby players from this Rugby World Cup. Yeah, we're switching gears to all things rugby with this week's international rugby player profile. We're talking about Juan Martin Gonzalez. Yes, and this one's brought to you by a proud sponsors, Total Energies. And you will see him strut his stuff in this weekend's semi-finals. All right, so let's get you a breakdown, right? Gonzalez was born on the 14th of November in the year 2000 in Mendoza, Argentina. He picked up his first rugby ball at the age of five years old and spent his junior years playing for the local clubs in the city of Mendoza. And Juan assumes the position of flanker for the Los Pumas and is known for showcasing his skills and versatility in the back row. Oh, yeah, man, this is a versatile player indeed. Now, Juan was first scouted as a junior when Argentina held a countrywide search for players to participate in the Youth Olympics in the Rugby Sevens event. Now, this is where he ended up captaining and went on to win gold in Buenos Aires. And after this, or oh, after these seven days, or seven days, he joined the junior Pumas for the under-20 side and continued with local club rugby. So already highlighted as a superstar early on in his career. And of course, jumping into his professional career, Juan currently represents the Saracens for the 2023-2024 season, but began his professional career with the Juaguares, a 15 in the Superliga Americana de Rugby. And of course, he made his first international debut for the Argentinian squad in the July 2021 Rugby Union Test against Romania, entering his first cap with a world-class try after coming off the bench. And Gonzalez has had previous success with the London Irish in the Premiership Rugby with 18 appearances in his rookie season, where his impeccable tackles gave his team domination in so many games. He also continues to cement his role as first choice in some of the international games due to his dynamic abilities and, of course, his improving skill set. What a guy. Yeah, man. I mean, just looking at some of these uh, visuals right now, you can see the man is not only experienced, but he's got some sort of a flair that is definitely the reason as to why Argentina are doing so well this year. There's electric passion in this man's game, and you can see it being executed on the field. We love to see it, especially Southern Hemisphere teams. Yes. I'm definitely getting behind them. I don't know if it's a South uh, a North war, but I'm here for the Southern Hemisphere teams and the incredible work that they're doing. So, a game day is not complete, obviously, without game snacks, oh, right? Yes. Yeah, you got to get those essentials, and those bright items as well are something of a must, especially when you're watching the game this weekend. So what do you need to do? It's simple. Head over to Total Energy Service Stations and you can top up on fuel, bright charcoal, fire lighters, snacks and drinks for the big game. And on top of this, you can also earn big club points and that's something that you can redeem for cash back. Oh, yeah. It's going to help you save on those future purchases. For me right now, bro, I just can't figure out what I'm going to serve for that big game this weekend. It's, what do you got, what do you got planned? It's quite... It's, uh, if you can find English patties. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, but after this past weekend, I yeah. realized that we couldn't eat Sort of so let's, well, let's, yeah. let's actually like get the snacks ready from Total Energies first and foremost. But I think that it's going to be a massive game, of course, you know, as we go in. Um, last week's game was intense. Mm. I mean, you told me that you, you struggled. I struggled, bro. I struggled <laughs> to sleep after the game. My endorphins were just running high. I was trying to like just process everything. Yeah. And I think I genuinely share the sentiment of the lost Africans. I felt tired on Monday. Like I felt like I was a part of that game. I felt like we were a part of the intensity and you could feel South Africa being behind yeah. all of those gents on the field. And I mean, talk about all those definitive moments. Yes. Colby's charge down of that kick. That was a two-point try. Andre Pollard on that halfway line taking that kick. That's another two points or three points in yes. the game. Everybody had these incredible moments where they stepped up and really just produced above and beyond, man. Uh, look at me. I'm getting goosebumps again just thinking about this, honestly. So are we saying, right? I mean, we just chatted about, you know, Juan Martin Gonzalez. And so are we going to have final-wise? Yeah. As a prediction, I hate to do this to you. Ooh. But is it going to be something different, like an Argentina... Springboks final or, an, or a Springboks and All Black final. Whoa, I would be so proud of Argentina if they got to the if final because did. that's literally like them getting through a final and then playing another final. Yeah. I mean, their road to finish off this World Cup is probably the hardest out of everybody right now. Yeah. If you consider the fact that they've got two monumental games potentially ahead of them. Yeah. Oh, that would be pretty cool, actually. I didn't even think about that. It's almost like the Stars already have the All Blacks and the Springboks written in it. But I like that, man. Yes, can you just I'm imagine that. that? And have you noticed that I only put the Springboks into the final? Of with course. both permutations. Why not? Of because course. we <laughs> celebrate us. But of course, if you need snacks for this big weekend's game, of course, there are so many coming your way. Total Energies is the place to go. 
just like in rugby, it's uniting our energies that helps us move forward. From rugby, let's get on to your news. Let's wrap it up on your feel-good breakfast show. Starting nationally, the Minister of Electricity, Dr. Josiencho Ramachopa, says the return to service of Unit 1 at the Kusila power station marks a critical milestone in the quest to recover South Africa's economy. This as ESCOM announced that the unit had returned to service a month and a half ahead of schedule since it was taken offline late last year. Ramachopa highlighted the impact that the return of the unit would have to help protect jobs, advance universal access, and of course improve the quality of life for all South Africans. Now, the Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa, Contralesa, has issued a fervent plea to the government and ESCOM for the exemption of educational institutions from the disruptive effects of load shedding. The call stems from the imminent commencement of the final examinations for the matric class of 2023, scheduled to start at month end. Contralesa's president, Jose Lamek Mokowena, emphasizes the need for collective efforts to ensure an enabling environment for learners to adequately, adequately excuse me, prepare for their crucial examinations. On to international news. There have been dire warnings about the plight of refugees escaping the conflict in Sudan. 42 Sudanese refugees are reported to have died in Chad last week because of severe shortages of food and drinking water, as well as the spread of disease such as malaria. Now, those worst affected were women, children, and the elderly, and some one million people had crossed the border into Chad, and it's reported that the international community had not fulfilled its promises towards the helping uh, those fleeing the six-month conflict. An Israeli airstrike on a hospital in Gaza Strip has claimed at least 500 victims, a spokesperson for the health ministry in Gaza said yesterday. The Israeli military said it didn't yet have details on a reported hospital bombing. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization, the WHO, says it urgently needs access to Gaza to deliver medical supplies. It says some 2,800 people have died and about 11,000 are wounded in Gaza since Israeli attacks began. Almost half are women and children. Israel began airstrikes on Gaza after Hamas uh, attack on October 7 had claimed more than 1,300 lives and abducted almost 200. And the sweet sounds of the world's leading young opera singers will be heard in the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town at the end, end of the month. And of course, this is the 30th Operalia, the world opera competition in the mother city. The international competition presented by the world's famous tenor Placido Domingo affords young singers the opportunity to compete for prize money of some four million rand and catch the eye of the opera agents of the world. Now, Domingo will be in Cape Town for the week-long event at the Artscape and five singers from South Africa are participating with others from 14 countries, including the US, Britain, Italy, Israel, Russia and South Korea. This competition assisted in establishing the careers of the likes of Pretty Yende as well as Levi Sechapane. So, of course, all the best to all opera singers competing uh, we wish them the best of luck. That is it for the news. And if you feel good breakfast show, let's take a last look at sport. Here's Rao. Thank you so much, Kalitos. Yes, let's take one last look at our sporting headlines. And starting off with cricket news, the Proteus suffered a crushing 38-run loss to the Netherlands in their World Cup group clash at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamsala. Now, when the rain affected 43 of a match, the Netherlands recovered from 140 runs for seven wickets to set a target of 245 for eight. Now, the Proteus stumbled to 44 for four and eventually got dismissed for 207. Now, this surprising outcome mirrored the Dutch's victory over the Proteas in the previous T20 World Cup, raising some eyebrows. Now, South Africa's next challenge is against England on Saturday, and that's taking place on October the 21st, the same day the Springboks tackle England in the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup. Well, from uh, the cricket pitch, let's head over to football news. And Bafana Bafana put up a strong performance, securing a one-all draw against Ivory Coast in an international friendly at Stade Feli Hoi Foyer Boini in Abidjan. Now, Zembe, uh, Tembe Zwane's goal gave South Africa an early lead, but Ivory Coast, who controlled possession and applied consistent offensive pressure, leveled the score with the goal from Sebastian Haller. Now, this in the second half. Now both teams will soon shift their focus to the 2026 World Cup qualifiers, with Ivory Coast facing the Seychelles at home and South Africa hosting Benin. 
Now, additionally, the AFCON 2023 is scheduled to take place for January 2024. Well, carrying on with our sporting headlines right now, moving over to golf news. Ryder Cup luminaries Nikolai Hoygaard and Bob McIntyre are poised for more success at the upcoming Nedbank Golf Challenge taking place from November the 9th up until the 12th. Now, fresh from their contributions to Luke Donald's triumphant European team in Rome, the duo is ready to shine once again. Now, Hoyard has, alongside his twin brother Erasmus, are eager to make strides in the race to Dubai rankings, while McIntyre, with a consistent season featuring six top ten finishes, including a second place at the Genesis Scottish Open, is determined to secure his third DP World Tour win before the year's end. Now, lastly, in our sporting news, something that is bringing a lot of superstars to the forefront. We're talking about motorsport and sports stars Roy McIlroy, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, as well as Anthony Joshua and Juan Mata are joining an impressive 200 million euro investment into Formula One team Alpine Racing. Now, the initiative, led by investment firm Otto Capital, also includes Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhinney, as well as Michael B. Jordan. Now, previously, this consortium acquired a 24% stake in Alpine in June, and currently Alpine, backed by Renault, holds the sixth position in the F1 Constructors' Championship, with five races remaining in the 2023 season. Well, we definitely can't wait to see all that action unfold. For now, though, it's time to find out what's happening when it comes to traffic. One last time, and Carlitos has the latest. Carlitos is ready for your traffic. If you are still heading uh, to work in Pretoria, there are delays on the Mapapane Highway due to City of China launch event. So please plan your route accordingly. Then in Westville and KZN, there is heavy congestion on the N2 northbound after the ramp uh, from Higginson Highway. Please allow for more travel time. And in Joburg, Clayville, there is congestion on the N1 southbound at Oerlifantz Fontaine Road, backing up at the Brackfontaine Interchange. Slow moving traffic expected there, just to let you know. That's it for traffic. Let's take a look at your weather. Let's start with weather news. The search for two learners in the Kailani area of the Eastern Cape continued yesterday. It's believed that they were swept away by swollen rivers in two separate incidents while returning from school. Heavy rains which pelted parts of the Eastern Cape yesterday affected three municipalities in the Oartambo region. Oartambo District Municipality spokesperson Zimkita Makingwane uh, said there was localized flooding in the Port St. John's, Nyandeni, as well as King Sabata, Dalinyebo municipalities. Makingwane said a small number number of people were housed overnight in the Port St. John's Community Hall and roads in the Coffee Bay area were affected as well. In a statement, the Oatambo District Municipality cautioned communities to be extra vigilant of flooding, adding that the disaster and risk management teams will be on high alert to handle any incidents that are reported. On that note, let's take a look what the temperature and precipitation is like across South Africa uh, with some soft music. There you have it, temperatures sorted out. Now let's make you a winner with your sunrise views. Thank you so much for contributing to our incredible uh, sunrise view gallery, which is always appreciated. And Ryle is happy to give a last 100 bucks to one person, that is you, Nancy Governor from Pennington. Once again, you have shown up. 
And look at that. I mean, honestly, it does look AI generated. But um, if you do want the 100 bucks that bad to Nancy, you got it. The sunrise is a magical time that signals the start of a new day, promising endless possibilities and opportunities. Go out there and shine. That's what Nancy wrote as a caption to this. Perfectly apt, 100 bucks of Ryle's money on its way to you. Congratulations, Nancy. And thank you so much for all your sunrise views. Keep on sending to 063-408-8863. And we'll continue the entertainment with a man that's just given you 100 bucks. Here's Ryle. Yeah, all the money your way, especially after that picture. That was absolutely incredible. Speaking of incredible, we still have two incredible souls, Candice and Monique, behind us, taking us behind the scenes on this incredible new kitchen that we've just unveiled this morning. It's inspiring us. It's giving us all the feels, and it's doing exactly that. And we're going to carry on with those inspirational recipes, of course, with the culinary hotline bling. Chef Clem's got so much more to come in just a bit of Zanzi, so don't go anywhere. Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso here at S3. And as you can see, our kitchen is fresh, and that's what we love. Now, when you improve your home, you elevate your level of comfort, of course. And uh, we've had the pleasure of celebrating the incredible contribution of CTM and Easy Life Kitchens in your homes. And now we are helping you take your home design and build to the next level. And here to discuss their latest offerings and their part in our incredible new studio design is Monique de Costa Killian, the National Training Manager from Easy Life Kitchens, and of course, the CTM Vision merchandiser Candice February will be also taking us through this amazing kitchen however what I want to do is I want to take you through the kitchen properly I mean like you need to walk with me all right are you ready I just want to make sure you ready fantastic now come with me thanks so much now come if you look at these kitchens they are absolutely beautiful 
And naturally, you want to have a kitchen that's got that flexibility, of course. Now, Monique was saying to me that she enjoys the fact that nothing slams. So there's no anger, right? I can't. Monique, come over here, <laughs> okay? I want you to show me. So you know when you, you're angry with, with something in the kitchen, maybe something hasn't worked. Show us what the drawers do. This is very, very good. This so is classy, this right? One? This one over here? <laughs> yep. So this is, you open it, right? Yeah. The argument started. At the end of the argument, do it soft. Yeah. Beautiful. It means there's diplomacy and peace in your home already, <laughs> which I enjoy. You don't want to slam things, you want peace in the home. So, other than the beautiful, soft, what, what would you call that feature? Um, it's Bloom Motion, so it's a, um, supplied by Bloom, and all of the runners have soft closing in it, so ah. that it won't have that sound. Um, but as well as our hinges as well, they also don't slam, so it is a peaceful kitchen. Okay, um, this is amazing. So nothing's <laughs> going to get unhinged? No, no, in... certainly not. <laughs> okay, this is important, all right? I just want to make sure that that's clear. So now, Candice, with regard to the beautiful kitchen, I mean, this is, it's gorgeous, it really is. Um, I know that we've also paired not only beautiful cabinetry, but there are tiles yes. involved as well. Now, one does not just choose tiles. One doesn't say, uh, let me thumb suck a tile, oh, this looks lekker, let's go. You've got to think about purpose and then also the look of it, right? So how have you gone about selecting our tiles in our brand new kitchen? So the project was so exciting. It Im immediately, it started with something um, oh, quite extraordinary. I had taken multiple pieces that I yes. thought were, were super on trend because this is a trendy studio. Thank you, <laughs> we know. And I brought like 10 <laughs> samples and kind of said like, what do you like? What are you gravitating towards? And the blue tile was the one that we gravitated towards. And we kind of built everything around that. The blue tile? Yes. Is there like a, a stunning name for it? Like yes, a, it's called Venetian Blue Brick. Venetian <laughs> blue, blue Brick. brick. Yes. A VBB. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how beautiful our kitchen is. It's one of those things. But, you know, when I look at some of the other, you know, features from your side, I mean, uh, you know, Monique, with regard to uh, what you've looked at, we know the trends, okay, with regard to what we're doing with the tiles. But then also let's continue a bit more about, you know, what you've looked at to to accentuate and elevate. You know, yes, it's a TV show, but also this could be somebody's home. Uh, was that part and parcel of your thinking process in creating this kitchen? Yeah, so it's very different to the set that was on here before. This oh, yeah. is a fully functional kitchen that our customers would have in their home. Um, <coughs> sorry. So... <coughs> I'm also getting... Give me a sec. I'm also getting... Give me a, I know what you mean. I'm also getting... Choked up. It's so beautiful here, which is... I make it make sense. Okay. Right. So, tears yeah, are gone. Sorry, no. <laughs> um, no, so it was all about the curves, um, looking at the arches that are in other areas of the studio and following that through so that yes. the space still feels cohesive, even though we are, have gone for something quite bold and blue. All right. Um, and, you know, with gold accents or uh, brass accents, you know, with our handles and our mi and mixes, which are very untrained at the moment, and then also this massive island, which I'm obsessed with because most customers can't have this size we, island. We really <laughs> love this island, to be honest with you. Like, there's something gorgeous about having all that space. And often when you have so much product on, on display, you know, it's, it's nice to have that room because sometimes you have the product on top of you while you're chopping. So I'm glad it's, like, open, which yep. is great. Workspace. Let's <laughs> zone in on the tiles, ladies. Tile trends, because I also want to make sure that our kitchen inspires you to go to a CTM and go select tiles that will be appropriate for your home. So what are some of the tile trends we should be looking out for? I mean, any of you can answer that because both of you are very trendy, I can tell. <laughs> so the, the trends that you'll see at CTM at the moment is um, something called biophilia. So that's botanical prints, bringing a touch of nature into your home. Wow. Um, black and white will always be on trend. So, yes. But we've tried to incorporate something different that gives it a modern twist. So we're bringing in geometric prints on our black and whites. And then we've got large format extravagant marbles imported from India. It's beautiful stuff. There's really something for everyone. And you can find all of those looks on our current year in promotion at affordable prices. So talking about looks, okay, sometimes, you know, personally, I find that the most creative any home renovator, because you know, I'm going to do, you know, some areas of my home quite soon. But the thing is, you sit on your phone at home and there's no way of actually getting a tangible idea of what tiles can look like. Now I heard about the app. And apparently the app has got some really cool features to make sure that if you have this vision, you can actually bring it to life. Yes, yeah, so I can actually show you that. We so can do it together. Please, can we do it together, please? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Oh, this okay. is great. Okay. I'm excited. So all you do is go to the CTM website. That's yes. ctm.co.za. Okay. And um, you can scroll through all the items that you'd like. So we click on tiles and we can shop flooring. 
I can show you. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we can just scroll through what catches our eye. Uh, we select a tile. Okay. You know, what, I'm, I'm very, I'm a big fan of grey. Yeah. You know, especially with the flooring. So even if it's got grey with detail in it, I think that, there we get. Thank you. Okay. That's it. Is that so my floor? Then, that is a floor Ooh. tile. So then right. you can view it in 3D. You can spin it around, and you can view it in different lighting. So daylight or nighttime, yes. and then you can choose warm light. Oh my word. And then you can even choose to see it in your room. So I'll do a practical example where we can take a picture yes. of your studio. Okay, great stuff. Okay. All right. Are and you going to put that towel all over the studio floor? Yes, I am. Oh, my word. So then we just wait See, if, for... if this looks too good, they're going to have to change things again. <laughs> just be careful. Oh, my word. This is, this is great. So obviously it's, it's rendering. Yes. And now we get a good idea. I'm glad that this is possible because I find that most of the creativity that I have when visual... Oh, come on. <laughs> So then, if you're that not really happy with that... really looks good now. <laughs> if you're not happy with that image, you can also select to change the product. You mentioned you like grey for I do red. enjoy grey. I think grey's got this neutrality that uh, makes other colours pop on the, the higher spaces in the home, uh, including plants and as well as uh, wallpapers, as we've mentioned before. And then um, there we've got the grey. Funny enough, that is the floor that I have in my lounge. <laughs> this is great. You know what? You have a good eye. That's what I'm talking about. But um, Candice and Monique, thank you so much for taking us through what is a beautiful kitchen. Of course, the tiles you've chosen, um, you know, the cabinetry you've chosen as well. What you've given us is a platform to make this really a home as opposed to a TV show. We've never wanted it to be a TV show with you. And this is our home that we share. And I want to thank you very much for bringing it to life. So to CTM and Easy Life Kitchens, thank you very much for this. It's been gorgeous, really. You're welcome. Thank you. Wow. Yes. Get the app, visualize, and make your dreams come true. And naturally, we will be cooking in this regularly for you to give you some more inspiration. So make sure that you stick around for more recipes. And hopefully, if you've renovated your kitchen with Easy Life and CTM, snap a picture and send it our way. We'd love to see. Absolutely love to see it. I am still frothing over this new kitchen, but I'm going to bring Carlitos in for this one too because it's time to get excited and time to have a good conversation. Vodacom are enhancing a lot of things and they're making it easier and more affordable than ever to access your smart tech when you want and need. And you can simply enhance your new existing plan at any stage and choose from a super wide range of smart tech and that's including the latest gaming consoles. Now, the team at Vodacom have very generously sent us the latest PlayStation 5 to have a little look at. And uh, between myself and Carlitos, brother, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. I, I would love that as well. So, see, I've got my tile sorted and now we've got a PlayStation sorted uh, as well. That'll be fantastic. Ready right? for the season, right? So listen, bro, are you uh, team PlayStation or Xbox? And, and, and why, bro? I <laughs> no question, yeah. So, I mean, I grew up on PlayStation. Okay. And then, you know, Xbox came across my path. Yeah, yeah. So, at the moment, I'm an Xbox user, but I can play on... I'm a, actually a dual-platform person. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't get... So, basically, with FC24, I will take anybody on with either console. Bro, don't make statements that on live TV. You know you're sitting next to... You know you're sitting next to... This guy's crazy. Uh, crazy. Uh, are, you, <laughs> are, you, are you an Xbox person? Uh, just a tad, man. Listen, I used to play on PlayStation at first as well, like a lot of car games, but my game... Gaming career took off when I when I joined Xbox. Okay. I joined clans. I'm like a Call of Duty like enthusiast, uh, Battlefield enthusiast, uh, FC. My friend, uh, we called it FIFA back in the day. Obviously, yes, obviously, name nights have yeah. changed, but uh, I'm unbeaten since unbeaten. I was born. Since I was born, yeah. That's me. Anyway, uh, but I mean, I'm very excited <laughs> about PlayStation because at the same time, the new Spider-Man game is coming well, out. Spider-Man so 2, so I'm looking new, forward to it. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we had to ask you online if you are Team PlayStation or Xbox, and I'd love to find out what you had to say. In fact, I mean, let's check it out. Just taking the account of the fact that the console looks so good, I think we can have a lot of people saying PlayStation, but Poppy Jr. comes through and says, I love PlayStation because of its graphics and the quality that it brings. I don't, can't, don't think I can argue with that one. The toy of PlayStation, the features are awesome, and the games are much better. Oof. They are, they do have some exclusive of games where Xbox guys just don't get a chance to play. We've got uh, something wavy saying PlayStation. They have what I call a universal joystick. It's easier to lose or to use, and I love FIFA, and sometimes I play it on my PC using the same controls I learned from playing PS3. I didn't know you could do that, actually. Yes, nice. also PlayStation as well. Okay. It seems like Look, I can't blame you. It Ding. looks good. It's something that you could yeah. like put as a feature in your home. It has that like sort of opulence and it works. It gives you entertainment for days. If you've been trying to get your hands on a PlayStation 5, then now is your chance.
chance with Vodacom Enhance. You can get the PlayStation 5 digital for 399 Rand per month when you take out a 10 megabyte home internet for 249 Rand per month. And to check out this incredible deal and all the T's and C's, you can visit Vodacom forward slash Enhance. Musanti, enhance what you love, add more of what you need to your contract. Choose from a range of enhanced options in store or online. Further together, Vodacom. Man, I'm just now thinking about the games I want to be playing this weekend yep. and also watching at the same time. So let's look forward to But of course, also on your show this morning, it's all about World Awareness for Hand Washing Day, right? Very important, something that we might have forgotten about, but something to bring to our attention. And of course, we're going to wash our hands prior to giving you a recipe for Pavlova. Yeah. So stay right there. Look how good that looks. Oh, my word. Good morning and welcome back to the kitchen. It's part three of the culinary hotline bling! Now, amazing Chef Quartz has made two dishes already, and this was our beautiful pull couscous salad. We're going on to something sweet now. And again, don't forget to send those voice notes through if you have any. And that WhatsApp number is 063 I've been practicing during the ad break. Here we go. So we're doing pavlova. Pavlova. Another one. In, in town. You know, and I love it First because stopper. a lot of the stuff you make before the time, again, yep. we're talking about entertaining, and this is how you do it. Best time. Talk to me about what's happening. Inside your mixer, you've got... Uh, egg whites, caster sugar, so it's one to two ratio. Uh -huh. I don't put any co um, corn flour or anything to bind it because I love it when it's crunchy, crunchy on the outside. Cracks are good, as you can see. Yeah. And then it goes like a soft cloud inside. So when you crack it, it's like melts in your mouth. Deliciousness. Yeah, and if you want this recipe, go and check it out on expressoshow.com. This is one you're going to really want for the festive season. Courtney, take it away. So we're going to just finish this um, meringue, meringue mixture. Yeah. And then my trick is, take it all out. I always love to shove it straight, all the mixture, straight into the center. And I mean, I also like when you do a rough kind of shape and not have it too perfect. No, because then when it comes out, it's not gonna be perfect anyway. Exactly, so, so be creative with it. What I like to do is I like to go up the sides, moving your your tray. I've never seen this technique. I am focused. So you get like a beautiful little bollocky and then I flatten it slightly 
Very rough. And it nice. goes into the oven. Eight. 120 for three hours. It comes out looking like this. So I know that I need to get cracking with some cream. I've already started whipping the cream. Add vanilla. Vanilla, which is the most important. Because, I mean, it is the most important thing because otherwise you just have sweet cream. Not a bad thing. No. But it becomes need shin. To, yeah. You need to, like, really pump it up. Agree, that's what the vanilla does. So I know you're going to be doing a lot of whisking. That's my job at home, to make to whip all the cream over the festive please. season. Yeah, so here's the trick. When you first start holding your whisk, hold it like this. So you're kind of holding it downwards. And then you're going to, once your arm starts getting tired after doing this, you swap it around and then you hold it like that. And you use a, diff you use a different muscle in your arm. So you're able to go for double for the much time, longer. much longer. And another tip, make sure that your cream is ice cold when you whip it and your bowl. Yeah. December's really hot. And oh. you see people whipping cream and nothing's happening. It's because mm -hmm. the cream isn't cold, the bowl isn't cold. No, okay, cool. And then it's gonna fall off the side. You don't want that. No, you don't. What I love about pavlova is, is that you can always add whatever fruit. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, berries. It, you can add mango. I, I would avoid watermelon because it's so liquidy. But you can add mango, peaches, nectarines, you can even char the nectarines. My secret is always adding passion fruit curd into the mm. cream first. Yeah, that tang is absolutely amazing. And then you just smush it in so you get it all over. Mm, and again, here comes the fun part. Viewers at home, you're going to want this recipe. Go and check it out on expressionshow.com. It's looking beautiful. It's looking, it's looking festive. Festive. Oh, man. I love starting with the strawberries. I keep the green on yes. because it just adds another element of color. There we go. So strawberries in, blueberries on the top. Perfect. We let, them, let them fall down. We got that looking beautiful, finishing off our beautiful salad with some almonds. Courts, you've been absolutely amazing. You've been amazing. We're going to be back next week with more thrilling culinary activities on the Culinary Hotline Bling. Ching, ching, ching. Wow, wow, Pavlova. Now, how exciting that CTM are giving viewers a chance to win a 10,000 Rand CTM voucher. Now, to enter, I know you just said, like, how do I enter call? It's fine, I've got you covered. The competition uh, is simple. So all you have to do is go to ctm.co.za, click the uh, tile visualizer tab, and then insert a picture of the room or area in your home that you would like to elevate and renovate. And then post a screenshot of the final look on the CTM competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter slash X pages using the hashtag 40 years of CTM to stand a chance to win. Now competition closes on 25 October. T's and C's apply. All the best of luck.
Yes, Zanzi, welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. What a great show it's been already, Carl. I'm so yes. excited about this new studio. I'm so excited about all the delicious food. But there's something that we need to talk about, right? Today is Global Hand Washing Day. We're creating awareness around the importance of hand washing habits at critical points during the day. It's almost every time of the day, to be honest. Right? That's right. It should be celebrated every day. But of course, 15 October every year is a little catalyst to give it some thought. So in commemoration of this day, we found out about some of the germiest things around your home and we could have, uh, you know, sort of, of course, inspire you to kind of clean up and, and wash your hands a bit more regularly. Yeah. So here are the things in your home right now that you may not have known are quite dirty slash fail. <laughs> now, starting off with this one, I think we all have it. Yep. A cell phone, it goes with you everywhere. Even into the bathroom for some. Yeah, I know you got, you, you know you are. Some, I feel you like know everybody, you, are. you know that if you take you half the time, but you're on TikTok in there, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> now listen up, it has been said that uh, it could be up to 10 times dirtier than a toilet seat. Oh, man. In fact, it could even have E. coli on it. Now that's a bacteria that can give you diarrhea and stomach cramps, and it can live for hours on a warm surface like your phone. So the solution, wash your hands with soap after you go, and then leave your phone out the bathroom as well. That'll definitely help. Exactly. Your timeline can wait. You have <laughs> other things to do. Moving along, the remote control. Ooh. All right? Everyone touches it. Even the neighbors, kids. You're right, yeah. You know, pick their nose non-stop. We'll touch the remote. I wanna what ball but throw. And then they touch the remote. Next thing you know, you have the germy hands. And it's everywhere. Remember, the remote drops on the floor. Then it's on the counter. Then it's yeah. in somebody else's hands, all right? Then somebody's like, oh, I want to watch that as they walk out of the bathroom. There are so many things. So it could be mold, bacteria, lots of things, all right? Uh, so, you know, give it a little bit of a, you know, once over with some antibacterial wipes, perhaps, as often as you can. And think about how many people touch the remote in a hotel room. Oh. And how many uh, times is that remote actually cleaned above and beyond the normal turndown? Oh, I didn't ever should think about that. No, oh, I'm getting a little bit scared here. Yeah. Right, look, the list uh, goes on, right? So here's another one that uh, a lot of us use. Some of us are getting it as punishment. Some of us just love it. Dish sponges. Ooh. Yes, surprise. It's the dirtiest thing in your house by a long shot. Now, it obviously makes sense because it's wet, it's absorbent, and you rub your food and dirt with it all the time. So naturally so, right? And sponges are hard to keep clean. Try as you might. Your best bet, though, let's do the following. Replace it. That's probably the best bet. Replace it when it starts to smell yes. or loses its shape. There's no real way to actually clean this thing, so just get rid of it, bring in the new one. Simple as that. And then another one. Now, it's interesting because this thing is supposed to hold the thing that cleans, a toothbrush holder. Yeah. And how can this be? Well, your toothpaste kills germs. That's right, okay? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, yes, but a lot of them stick to the bristles mm -hmm. and drip onto the holder. And this spot has one of the highest bacteria readings of anything you touch. So clean it often. Mm. One easy way, remove the gunk, uh, then stick it in the dishwasher, get it sorted out, done and dusted. Nice, man. I like that one. I hear something that a lot of people might be shocked about. We're talking about your purse or your bag. Yeah, and we know a lot of things go into uh, those purses, almost everything actually. But you stick your hands in it all the time. And you really clean it, right? Let's be honest. You don't actually clean the inside of it. Maybe you take things out of it, but you don't actually clean it. Now that accounts for the bacteria that that lives True. inside of it. So the places you leave it, like dirty counters, bathroom stalls, car floorboards, this accounts for those icky travelers on the outside too. Now, yep. hang on to it, hang on, to, hang it on a hook actually when you can, and then clean it with like an antibacterial wipe or something like that. Let it freshen out, and this is definitely gonna assist you in getting it a little yeah. bit cleaner, man. I can't believe this. Exactly. Also, they spoke about cell phones earlier. You know, we had to chat to you about that. Yeah. We work with tablets often. We oh, also no, be yes. cleaning your tablet, man. Oh no, you're right, bro. I don't think, ah. Oh. I've got you but sorted out. I've got some come, wipes here. Come through, because, bro. No, no, I want to look after you. Come I don't through, want you to have stomach cramps. Especially after that conversation, right. I'm going to be wiping down a lot more than just this okay. tablet. But uh, thank you for coming through, Carlitos. Let's get this clean. Okay. Let's get it ready. And I uh, hope this has uh, inspired you, Mzanzi, to also make sure that you're cleaning those dirty, dirty oh, things too. in your home. I'm glad that we're doing hey, this man. now. This is great, okay? So remember this morning, we are shining that spotlight on, you know, the simple, powerful act that actually save lives, and mm. that's washing hands. So uh, Lifebuoy recently celebrated Global Hand Washing Day with their H for Hand Washing Games. And that's fantastic. It, yeah, really it is. definitely is. Now, Harmony was there to see how we can make a difference one hand wash at a time. All right, bro, what else can I clean you? There's little marks on the table. You clean your mind. Yeah. <laughs> 
Welcome to LifeWay's Global Hand Washing Day. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey of fun and learning as we're turning hand washing into an everyday adventure. Today, play and hand washing unite for the age for hand washing games. These games have been especially designed to make hygiene a part of your child's play and also to rekindle the importance of hand washing for a lifetime, even in this post-pandemic era. It's a beautiful initiative that you have here today, but can you tell me the significance of Life Boys Global Hand Washing Day and also the Age for Hand Washing campaign? This special day was co-founded by Life Boy back in 2008 with other partners and it's a really special day as we focus on the habit of, of hand washing, which is core to Life Boy's purpose and mission about the transformative power of hand washing with soap. It's also the launch of the brand new, never ever before seen Age for Hand Washing Games Kit. Can you tell us more about what is inside? The Age for Hand Washing Games Kit, which has four games that kids would, would know what they are. And it's about encouraging them to, to play and learn. So it's play and hand washing coming together. And then also for them to play back home with their families where they you know, learn how to wash their hands and they can spread that message with the rest of their community. <laughs> Today I played the game that called Lose the Gem. It was nice playing Lose the Gem with another children. Firstly, I like playing with the kids. I look forward to just um, educating them as well because not only are we here to talk about the importance of washing our hands, but also to be role models and, and tell them that it is important for them to take their education seriously. The more informed they are, the better they live in this world. How has the Age for Hand Washing campaign sparked a movement within schools around the world to integrate hand washing and hand hygiene education? So what the pandemic, the COVID pandemic taught us is the importance of hand washing, that you can prevent quite a wide range of diseases uh, if you simply wash your hands. And it's one of the most cost effective ways of preventing disease. We know that there are basically three key reasons why children stay out of school. Uh, diarrheal disease, respiratory tract infections, and then worms. And the top two that I've mentioned are ones that we could simply avoid by washing our hands. So what we're trying to do is to teach children the importance of washing their hands regularly so that they are healthy. And we know that healthy children learn better because they uh, can attend school more often. How has the partnership between Unilever South Africa and also the Department of Basic Education come together in order to educate 6.2 million children in hand hygiene? It's, a, it's an amazing number. I always get so proud when, when I hear that. So I think the, the beauty of it is that we are now in the schools. So during the life orientation schools lesson, it's the, the message of hand washing has been taught by the teacher. And um, so it gives the kids more time to get to know how to wash their hands properly. We've also been able to share some resources in terms of Life Boy Soap so they can get to use the Life Boy Soap in their classroom and really uh, practice the, the hand washing habit. I learn to wash my hands every day with water and soap. You must wash your hands before eating and after playing because of you will get rid of germs. Um, you know, demonstration is very important, uh, especially when you work with kids. You know, sometimes kids, they don't listen to what you say. They follow what you do, so you must uh, lead by example. So we washed hands in, in front of the kids. You know, they did the same. And we also, you know, um, encourage them to also teach others as well, not only kids. Kids enjoy uh, playing, enjoy being active and they were active today you know with uh, educational games and they had fun so kudos to life boy okay tell me how can parents and communities come in collaboration and support these efforts that you have already done here as you can see from where we are our target audience are the kids 
we know that it's very important to invest in them when they are very young because we know that the message will get home, the message will be within, within their peers and also they will be able to educate their, their, their siblings at home. So it's very important to instill the message whilst they are still young. Once the message, health message is clear, you know that it will reach a, a bigger population. Yeah, it starts with us as, as, as parents. Uh, we must lead by example. Uh, we must make sure that we do the right things in front of our kids because kids are always watching us. You must wash your hands thoroughly and with life boy so. When you make um, such initiatives uh, very fun for children, then you educate the whole world. What advice would you give parents and educators who would like to engage children in hand hygiene practices? It, it seems like a small and insignificant act, but it really is a life-saving act. And it's something that we as parents and teachers can teach any child. You don't need to have you know, any special training or anything. You just need to pick up a bar of soap and, and wash your hands. And it really is something that can save uh, a child's life. As a parent, I'm a parent myself, it's, it's very important that we do that for our children. It's not good enough to tell them to wash their hands. You actually have to wash your hands at, the, you know, at those points that we think it's important to do so and so modeling is really the important one here. Yeah. It's important to wash your hands because when you wash your hands with soap you'll never get sick. It is important to wash your hands because you help people to stay safe from germs. Join us in capturing our children's imaginations and making hand washing fun and exhilarating. It's time to fight that hygiene fatigue and ensure that clean hands remain a lifelong habit. Let's play and stay healthy together. Come on, man. That's wholesome. Just not even yeah. cut it when it comes to a word that it just encapsulates that. I love seeing the joy and happiness in those faces, and I love the fact that Harmony get to be there firsthand, too. Of course. Oh. Firsthand. Wash your hands. And, of mm. course, modeling is very important. In fact, we've got some newness when it comes to baby and kids' foods from Woolworths Ooh. in the next couple of minutes. Definitely. Not, not, well, not looking forward to only that, but also the fact that Renee Love Notes is in the building. Yes, we've got a performance coming from her in just a bit. It's time to get excited. It's time to get hyped. It's time to not go anywhere, Mzanzi, because we'll see you just after this. <laughs>
It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expressor here in S3 and Woolworths is all about innovation and inclusivity. They offer a diverse range that speaks to every single type of customer. And here to tell us more about their new exciting range are our guests. Our kitty-friendly food items will be showcased and Woolworths product developers here, Fikile Klachwayo, is here along with Chef Clem who's been here all morning. And of course, our young baker, we've got Jaylee slash Jacolia slash Amazing. <laughs> who is here with us, and this is going to be very exciting. Uh, Can I walk around here? Please. I like walking in our new... Sorry, man, I was going to stay here. I thought, no, let me walk around. Hi, welcome. Hi. This, you are my size. This is great. Okay, <laughs> let's go over to Fikile. Sorry, Hello. I had to walk. So what do you think of our new space? Mm. I love it. It's I love it. Say. I think I should come here more often. Oh, yes. You're better. <laughs> You're the product developer, so you'll know all about the newness from yes. Woolworths. Please do tell us more. Okay, so we've... Um, recently introduced a banging new look of our kids' um, wow. line. It looks so good, eh? Hey? Yes, so I'll, ju I'll just take you through them by um, bit by bit. Yes, please. So we've introduced um, two new pasta sauces. Yeah. We've already got a range of four lines, so these are completely new. We've got a new vegan option, which caters for the plant-based um, kiddies. What? And then we've got a, a delicious creamy chicken on tomato, which is recently new. And then we've got, um, we recently introduced Kitty's Teas, which are naturally caffeine free. Yeah. Um, they got no colorants and they've got natural fruit extracts. So which gives you that nice fruity flavor yes. when you consume the tea. Um, onto our kids' milks, we've already got a range, but we've introduced a brand new lactose free range. So reiterating on what I said, also yeah. no um, added colorants, free from preservatives. And it's also, so the flavors that we have here, we've got chocolate, we've got, um, bubble gum and then uh, cookies and cream. So we also use sustainably sourced Yum. ingredients here. All right. And then we've got our kitties pasta range. So we've got three currently in store and these are completely new. So we've got the music tricolora shape. We've got the alphabet shaped, the numbers and the dino. So this is one of our favorite lines. So this is the music shaped ones. So basically when we developed this yes. range, we wanted to use shapes that uh, kind of educative to the kids. So we've yes. got numbers, we've got dinosaurs, we've got music shapes. I would sing when you make the pasta exactly. for me, I'd start singing. It's quite fun Le when the kids <laughs> make them. Yes. <laughs> and as you can see, the colors that we've got here are all natural colorants. Definitely. So we want, we're all about promoting wholesome nutrition within our food. So we've incorporated tomato powder, spinach powder, so that the kiddies get extra added nutri nutrients without them not really knowing, right? Are you hearing what's happening behind me? And I mean, I believe that this is your fault because you created a kid's Love it. cupcake and bake, uh, you know, a baking kit as well, which is fantastic. So tell me about how you've thought about this because it's a kit, which means yes. that we get together in the kitchen with our kids and we get a chance to do what, you know, Jaylee yes. slash Chakolia and Chef Tim is doing over there with regard to baking, star. right? Yes. So what's happening over here in relation to what your product is? So. The whole purpose is exactly what Jamie's doing. Yeah. We try to keep the kids interactive and busy. So we've developed a brand new range of kids' um, baking kits. We've got three currently. We've got a fantastical cupcake kit, which is the one that mm. Jamie's currently doing for us. We've got a giant um, cookie Sorry, kit. Sorry, I just had to because <laughs> you can't bake alone. We have to I love it. Also, together. like I say, it's for the kids. Yes. Exactly. Man, That's it. This is, this is for I'm ready. the grown-up. Okay, you can continue. Thank Sorry. You, thank you, thank I just have to do once. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. You were saying? So, it's for kids, but we do um, advise that they also yeah. do it with the um, supervision of an adult. That's, yeah. that's why calls here. Yes. That's why I'm here. Yes. So, we've got the giant cookie kit, like I said. We've got the mini pizza base mix and our favorite, the Fantastical. So, with the giant cookie kit, we basically had the idea of giving the kids an edible open canvas, right. something they can play around with, yes. top with their favorite toppings. So in the kit, it comes with a green marshmallow frosting, wow. some sprinkles, which all use natural colorants, which is what we try to promote. And then on our uh, mini pizza base mix, yeah. ready in a snap, you just add water and Bob's your uncle. Bake it in the oven for 10 what? minutes with your favorite toppings, and then you're good to go. Fakila, excuse me, I need to no go problem. supervise. Sorry, just I'm <laughs> supervising here. Fakila, come a little closer. Hello, Jaylee. Ooh, what are you doing? Uh, this is great. I'm, I'm putting in 
And what is this? Steven? This is the icing. So what I love about the Fantastic Kit is that everything comes in its own individual little bag. All right. You don't have to weigh anything out. And what they've done, which is quite amazing this <gasps> year, is you've gone with the concept of doing like those fold cupcakes. Yes. So this icing goes inside, and this is the icing that goes on no top. No way. So every cupcake has a surprise. Mm. I absolutely love it. It's good, right? <laughs> Did you put some of the Fantasticals inside there already? No. Yes, surprises. Okay, do that. I always love surprises in the cupcake as My well. Favorite so Jaylee has also told me she's not just a Woolies cook, but she's also a Woolies model. Uh -huh. You'll we'll see, see her on all the latest Woolies branding for clothing. So she's she's just living her best life. She's a chef, TV chef, TV model. <laughs> oh. Jaylee, this is, and you also told me your favorite thing to make is? Pancakes. And oh. she makes it from <gasps> scratch. So what? in a few years' time, it will not be Chef Clem on the culinary hotline. It will be Chef Jaylee. That's fine. I got that one. On the culinary Don't worry. hotline. Look out for that. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's good. This is, now this is you. Now you're okay. gonna do your final, Ooh, final. So this, you're gonna, okay, we need to back see this. This is ready. And Fikile, this is the dream. Obviously, when Woolworths developed this, you wanted this moment where kids exactly. can create. And then, of course, you know, obviously eat the most delicious, nutritious, and, and food yeah, that is actually that is considered great. with regard to their health, too, which I love it. How yes. And you see how excited she is? <laughs> this is what we wanted I'm to see. I'm actually more excited. Yeah. <laughs> and also, can I talk about the pastas that you have? Absolutely yes. amazing. You spoke about the alphabet. There's also numbers what? and dinosaurs. Get, get dinosaurs me. are actually gluten-free. Yes, that's Which correct. I think is really great. And again, it's interactive. Pasta's great on its own, but they make it something like that's numbers fun. and texture and it becomes so much more. For Keely, I don't think they're listening to us. <laughs> It's like this full on, taste. it's full on over there. And then there's your last little sprinkle. Yeah. There you go. This is great. It looks like this one, um, tell me what it looks like the butter and beans that you put on like puppets. There yes. we go, there we go. Lovely. But you gotta sprinkle it like this. Yes. Like That's this, from up here. Sprinkle. Magic. Yes. And then, and, then you put Magic. Some, and then you put some in your hand and you go like this. Voila. Look at, you, you go to this camera and you put some of these in your hand. Like this. More like in my mouth. There we go, oh, more like in your mouth. And I want you to hold it. <laughs> hold it. And then I want you to go like this. Good morning, Good South morning. Africa, but you gotta throw it. Okay, throw, throw. to that camera. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Well that done. is amazing. Give me a high five, Jake. Wow, thank you so much, okay. Fikile. Amazing I with wonder, this particular I brand. Wow. It tastes like the, like Take a bite. We're gonna continue piping and icing and doing all the things, as you know, that Woolworths, they've considered your kid. So make sure you get creating in the <laughs> kitchen with something that really looks after their health and, of course, is really fun as well. I wonder. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, one last time on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Joining us on stage is singer-songwriter and she goes by the name Renee Love Notes. And it's time for her to do one last performance before we head over to our live session. But this is Renee Love Notes with Ocean, her new single. Come away with me, come away with me, come away with me, come away with me. 
with me, fly away with me, fly away with me, fly away with me. Oh, 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 oh. Wish we could be more than friends. I want to be yours till the end of time. I want to make you mine, mine. You got me moving like the ocean. Got me singing all these melodies. Lately, I just can't control myself. I think I need a remedy. You got me moving like the ocean. Got me singing all these melodies. Lately, I just can't control myself. I think I need a remedy. You got me moving like the ocean. Melodies. I just can't control myself. I just can't control myself. Melodies Lately I just can't control myself Please give it up for Rene Love Notes coming through, serving us and giving us everything we needed on this Feel Good Breakfast show. What an absolute queen. Carlitos, how are you doing out there, bro? Uh, this is amazing. Honestly, thank you. Jaylee Jacolia, all right, has been amazing in our kitchen, of course. <laughs> I mean, we've had some great chef. Chef Clem, Culinary Hotline. Mm. Oh, chef. What an amazing show you've had with us as well as these two amazing, I mean, yeah, you know. Candice Monique, Candace you guys Monique have. Candice Monique were wonderful. Eh? You've elevated oh. the space. The energy is so good as Carlitos, I think, symbolically puts the cherry on the top on this one. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been a part of creating this magic. It's the start <laughs> of something new, the start of something fresh, and I'm just here to celebrate it with all these incredible humans that had a part to play in this. So I think we should put our hands together. Let's celebrate one last time. Yeah! <laughs> it's our new kitchen. Enjoy it. And we have many more recipes. Remember the website, expressoshow.com. Uh, we're going to be cooking for you in this kitchen. We have a lovely home to make sure your culinary delights come to life in your own home right here in your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's been a joy. Mm. Thank you very much for joining us. And do so again tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. on S3. Don't forget. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>Feel good breakfast show, except this time on you know Facebook as well as YouTube. But it means that we get a chance to get in depth with our singer songwriter. We have Rene Love Notes over here, and just a few notes from Rene and Rene Love Notes, which <laughs> makes sense though. Rene, thanks a lot for um, amazing uh, performances. But we have another one coming up. But first, before we go there, right? Uh, we were mentioning that you were international, so many opportunities happening now, of course. There's got to be something happening in South Africa as well. So your entertainment lineup for summer, how's it looking? Busy. Busy. Exciting. I am over my head. I have a lot of gigs coming up this month. Good. Starting from the 22nd. Yes. If you guys are watching the 22nd, I will be in Stellenbosch doing a breast cancer awareness event. Lovely. That is the 22nd. The 27th, I will be doing a show with Ricky Fanny Frontline. Some of you guys may know. Uh -huh. uh, 27th, uh, Ricky Fanny Frontline. And I will be performing with Kati. I just released another single. First Afrikaans single for Rio. 
on the 12th Beautiful. of October. So go check it out under my under Renee Love Notes. The 28th, I will be in Atlantis doing a lash and sip event. And the 29th, I will have my very first official show ever since I've been <laughs> back in South Africa in Kells River. So you can check out my TikTok page, uh, Instagram, these tickets Love linked. It. Where are you from, by the way? Balbal South. From Balbal South in Cape Town, South Africa. No <laughs> Stand up, Balbal. <laughs> You'll see why. The talent are amazing there. Now, Renee, we are looking forward to this particular song. You've done in a completely different arrangement on a hit from Harry Styles called As It Was. I am very excited for this. All right, so please take it away. Renee, love notes on your Feel Good Breakfast show, As It Was. the palm of your hand why don't you leave it like that nothing to say when everything gets in the way seems you cannot be replaced am i the one who will stay in South Africa is amazing. Renee Love Notes, make sure you follow and support all of the, the amazing things that she's doing uh, throughout the course of this month, next month. In fact, every month of the year, please do that. You've been amazing today. Thank you so much. Also, can I just give love to the band? Yes, please. Can we do that for yes. a second, right? Introduce the band. We have this gentleman over here. Okay, on bass, we have Roche. Roche. Yes. And then let's move over here to the next one over here. There we go. They have different names as musicians. I'm going to stick to their real names. This is Bradley. Roche, Bradley. Bradley. There we go. <laughs> and then? Oh, sorry. And on guitar, we have not only Eddie, but Eddie Strings. Oh, Eddie Strings. Look at yes. that. You see, I wanted you to know the band because we love a band that supports an artist like this. Renee Love Notes, make sure you diarize and support vocals from the locals right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, and tune in tomorrow morning, bright and early, on S3. That's at 6 a.m. From me, Carl Wasty, and this incredible team, our cast, our crew, everybody who's a part of this amazing production. Thank you so much for supporting us. We'll catch you again tomorrow morning, bright and early.